Huh? Live from Ventnor, New Jersey. Welcome back to my condo, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we're... Uh, Zach hasn't quite moved in because he's got his own place, but he did take a nice nap on the sofa earlier today. So Saturday night we're going live. Yeah, um, we are live. The title, live. the title of tonight's live is "This is the worst time in history to be in the market to buy a car." You mm. contend that it's probably not the worst. No, the I worst think, is I yet think, to come. I think the worst is yet to come. I think tomorrow might be worse than today, and the day after tomorrow could be worse than tomorrow. So one thing, yeah, someone donated twenty dollars at the onset of tonight. So Pops, Bless you know what I hearts. did? You know what I did? What? I created this. Oh, that is so cool. You did that? Do wow. I get the do I get the You get the Ray Shevska stamp of approval on a and a pat on the back, young man. So here's the deal. Thank you to whomever made yes, that donation. That was very Let's yeah. start off tonight yeah. by asking Dad, everyone yeah. in the community, yeah. what they're seeing in their regions in their areas. Okay. I We've like gotten that. so many emails and so yeah. many comments into us of people that are telling us that they're Five thousand dollars over sticker for every vehicle. We've yeah. seen MSRPs of vehicles that were being made three months apart that are now a hundred dollars more from the manufacturer. Even. Well, you know, manufacturers are allowed to raise their prices. I know, but that's not typical. You know, yes, it is. In three months, same well, model year. Yeah, it's typical across within, multiple vehicles. It's typical within a model year. You know, if if some if supply chains uh, ch uh, change. And and uh, we've had like I've had like six or seven emails this past week of like I was looking at this car and the Amonroni label on yeah. it is now a hundred dollars more. Yeah, okay. Well, but own like six or seven cars. Okay. I feel like you're justifying something that doesn't happen all that often. But you tell I, me, I'm the I rookie. Don't, uh, well, let me ask a question: Did you spend forty three years in the retail automobile business, or was it me? So tell us in the chat. <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean to put it. In no, no, terms, please, please, please. It's not. It's not unusual. Um, you know, typically, um, you, the MSRP stays the same all year long. But if there are if there are uh, unforeseen circumstances, and I have seen this any number of times in the forty three years that I've done this, more times than I would like to count, where there have been price increases and changes in the MSRP within the same model within the same model year. One, it's one one year I saw it twice. Really? Yes. What was that, so, like 1930? Uh, 1904, <laughs> I believe it was. So what I yeah. thought we'd do, Pops, is we would... When when the horse that was carrying the parts to the Ford factory uh, dropped dead, and uh, yeah, they had to raise the price. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. I was thinking what we'd start out tonight with before we open up the phone lines and yes. all that fun stuff is yes. we could actually just take a quick peek at the latest news from Automotive News yes. about the chip shortage. Yes, the lost automotive, automotive continent of Stellantis is cutting shifts at its Illinois Jeep plant. Yep. Mid chip woes. Now, I, I get, I have seen any number of comments on our YouTube channel where there are people going, there's no chip shortage. Really? This is just all made up. It's good content for us. Yeah, it's great. We're making it up, folks. <laughs> um, this was the lead, uh, yeah. was chip shortage could cost the auto industry $110 billion. Alex Partners says, uh, I guess one of the one of the other firms that's yeah. tracking Tracks all of this. Stuff. Yeah. Um, what are we up to? I think it was uh, net vehicle production three point nine million. We yeah. we read somewhere else was expected to be six, six million. million. Yeah, it depends who you ask. But yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's let's it's, check back in December. Yeah. yeah, and and see exactly how many millions of cars were lost. And and truth be told, would would manufacturers be looking to lose $110 billion in production if there really wasn't a chip shortage? I don't think so. I mean, it could be like a, could make for a good movie, good plot line. Uh, what was that one with uh, um, Jack Lemon and the nuclear power plant? And I have no clue what you're talking about. Oh, it was about. a great movie. And he kept saying that the, the, the centrifuge is going to go, but nobody believed him. See a comment here from Tony P. Will people be panic buying like gas and toilet paper? That's a really interesting question. Do you think that we're seeing some kind of influxes? Again, the, the title of this live stream is The Worst yeah. Time in History. Yeah. And your supposition is actually that the worst time, Mike Dallier. Well, thank you, Mike. We're going to address that in a second. Yeah. Your supposition is that the worst time is going to be... It hasn't happened Six yet. months or now, three months or yeah. now, something but, like it, that. But, it, but I, I think, I think uh, as, as the chip shortage continues to rear its ugly head and... Uh, uh, you know the 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 phony chip shortage, the one that really doesn't exist, the one that's putting all. Please these do not start on. a computer. As kids, uh, this is the internet, man. Yeah, I know. Doji coin. Uh, uh, Doji coin. Do, Doja cat. Uh, some, some, do you know who Doja cat is? 
I, Mike I, know, da- I know who <laughs> Sophia Loren is. Do you know who she is? Mike Dallaire, <laughs> thanks for all your help last week, guys. Sold my Jeep and made $2,000 on it. Yeah. Of course, the dealership now stands to make nearly 4000 but hey, I got mine. Well, that's the way it's supposed to work. <laughs> Mike, but anyway, what I was going to say, thank you. When, when, when somebody asked, you know, do I think people are going to hoard cars like they hoarded toilet paper? Yeah. Um, I, I think they might store their toilet paper in their cars. Um just my guess. I don't. I wasn't following that one. Neither am I. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, how do you hoard cars? Where, where are you putting them? Where no, no, I think they, people they, like getting they, scared. Will they panic buy and go? Panic oh, buy because be... it's going to get worse. Uh, they might. You know, there's there's always a percentage of, of people that buy things that don't need things because they think there's suddenly going to be a, a major shortage. Let's um let's do one other thing while we're... I'll do whatever you want. I am... Look at that. Jen, Jen. Yeah. Jen, Jen. I don't... Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. You're more in the know yeah. than I am. Yeah. Okay, I want to do one thing really quick. Well, Pops. Sophia Loren was was uh, uh, like a cat in a sense. I mean, she was a... She was the Italian uh, sex symbol in the uh, 60s and 70s. Uh, an actress. Very good looking. Yeah, kind of like Doja Cat. Yeah, kinda, um, you know, and, and like cryptocurrency, she kept going up in value. There I you go. Know. That is a little weird. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, I want to do one thing with yeah. you, Pops, real quick. Yeah, yeah. I always like to surprise you with stuff. You usually do. Can you pay attention to my screen this time, just for a second? Yes. Okay. So we have... we well, Look at those two guys. Look at those two guys. Look at those two, look guys. At those two guys. Yeah. I made this page today. You did? On the... When are we starting this? When are we starting this? May On 22nd. May 22nd. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The calendar is not updated here yet, so bear with me as I explain this. On May 22nd, yeah. we are starting 10 days. Every night we're going to go live. My yes. dad's birthday is May 25th. Yeah. Because there's something about that actually uh, yes, tied to yes, this as well. yes, yes. We, if you want to get notified, notified. each night when yeah. we're going live, fill out this little form. What we're doing is we're doing 10 days yeah. in 10 and different ten, ways to, to save. save. Really 10 ways to kind of like protect yourself yeah. this Memorial Day, all yeah. leading up to buying a car this Memorial yeah, it's Day. Like, it's, like, it's like a condom for car buyers. Dad. What? Well, we're going to protect people. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's like a condom for a car buyer. That's pretty good, man. That's pretty good. Yeah. You know what you're going to get for that? Uh, right. It's going to raise. Gonna raise, it's gonna raise. That, oh, that's that, good. That great. I can see. You let, call Jimmy and let him know we're changing the name to this. To no, nope. we're not changing buyers. the name of anything. Don't oh you worry. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. So why do I need... Uh, look at what I made. Okay. Why do I need 10 days and 10 ways of save? So you can negotiate like a repro. So yeah. you have no regrets. We've got yeah. your back. Yeah. Anyway, what are we doing? Yeah, what are we Sign doing up the for the other no- seven nights? You Sign up. Three nights there. No, I didn't. The nights are all down oh, here. Oh, I'm sorry. So the first night we're gonna do how to find the best deals, yeah. how to contact car dealers, how to follow up with deals. Yeah. The 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 catch here, if there's yeah. a catch, if there's any catch. Yeah. If you fill out the form here. Yeah. And then you submit, you'll get an email, and the email will allow you to submit your deals. Yeah. Every night of the live stream, every yeah. night of the ten live streams, we're gonna do deal analysis every single night. I can't wait. And the last live stream, yeah, or the last two, I think we're actually gonna do, yeah, these ones right around the end of the month, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go till we can't go no more. Like we're gonna just it could be so f- the battery. You no, 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 I'm, I'm buying another. Oh, we, we're gonna go for hours. Just as many deals as there are, we're gonna help them. Oh my god! Now you and know the, there, there's never been a time in my life when I've been able to go for hours. <laughs> never, Dad. <laughs> Um, <laughs> um, and and the other thing, yeah. the other thing we're doing um, oh, is we've got limited edition merch that we're working on because it's my dad's seventieth birthday on the twenty fifth. And yes, yes, and yes, and I'm yes. working on a few a few little surprises with the community uh, yeah. for your birthday that we're going to try and keep a secret from you. So okay, we'll see. Wouldn't, wouldn't take much. I'm senile at this point. <laughs> <laughs> So, what okay. the hell? Yeah. Anyway, all right, let's yeah. open up the call in. Um, yes. The link for the uh, 10 days and 10 ways is in the uh, description down below. And let me also just um, paste it here yeah. in the chat. Yeah, TMI yeah. pops. There you go. But that's okay. That's okay. Pops is saucy tonight. All right, I we're going to. Let's open up the phone line so that oh. we can help some folks if they're working on well, car we deals. Have helped them already? I mean, we've already entertained them. What have we done in the past? 15 minutes that thinks Enterta- makes we, you think we, we well first of all we've only been on for nine but we've been pretty damn entertaining speak for yourself man okay i've been pretty damn entertaining <laughs> <laughs> i've been i've been letting you down yeah yeah okay i got my what's the phone number they call oh well don't worry somebody already did oh why am i not getting audio through though well 
Well, One second. Oh. oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. We got to wait a second. Wait oh. a second. Technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. Hang tight. This, this Hang is tight. what happens when you take a nap. Well, no, I just noticed. Like, yeah. they, why did it come through my phone? Well, I don't know. It's, I don't know. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Give me one second, gang. I'll give you all the time you need. Can you? Yeah, um, can I vamp? You're vamping. Well, you know, it could be an issue. We could get banned with the way I vamp. Why hmm. would we get banned? I don't know. I might say something I shouldn't. Well, please don't do that. Huh? Please don't do that. Okay. Well, so I'll, we I'll only say the things that I should. Um, but we do hope. Huh? We we do hope to have uh, to have uh, uh, our phone. Uh, technical issues resolved i don't know in a timely fashion maybe today tomorrow or sometime before the 22nd when what's we, the uh, when we're what's, gonna it, do... what's it called what's the phone app on the uh grasshopper uh, no 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 um when people call your iphone what's it called um what the hell do I know? because i gotta i've gotta mute it what the hell is it called i don't facetime know. oh it's facetime that's what it's called okay Fake give me FaceTime. a second yeah give yeah. me a second i gotta yeah. mute facetime okay is that what the issue is yeah don't worry no one can see that okay good we've only missed 13 calls <laughs> turn facetime off okay. okay cool okay 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 can we get back to the phone line okay now? yeah let's give it a try okay cool we, we do apologize to the first caller who we uh, yeah yeah my uh, unceremoniously apologies. dumped that's 855 <laughs> <clears throat> excuse me 587-2886 855-587-2886 please call now so you can talk to a couple knuckleheads here in ventnor new jersey there you go, Pops. Yeah, how was that? That was okay. <clears throat> it was all right. <clears throat> yeah, if anyone's working on car deals, if yeah. you got stories from your area, call yeah, and let anything. us know yeah. so that we what, can What you see as far as, uh, uh, as, uh, as uh, inventory is concerned. Is hey there, you're out? on with... Yeah, why don't you put on the headphones? <laughs> oh, let's see if I can hear you. <laughs> you're on with your auto advocate. What's your name? Where are you from? What can we do to help? Oh, hi. My name is Richard. I'm from New Jersey. How are you guys doing today? Good, Richard. What part of New Jersey are you in? Ah, uh, Fairfield. Okay, cool. Well, we're down south. <laughs> I can tell. Yeah. Uh, so I had a question, actually a question and a comment for you guys. Okay, do you um, want to do so the comment first and then the question or the question? Like and then the yeah, question. sure, sure, sure. You guys, you guys are great. I, I look forward to watching your videos every day. Well, bless your heart. See, I wanted to hear the compliment. <laughs> you know, I have a very there weak you ego. I need stroking. <laughs> no, that's okay. Yeah, I get it. I understand. I know how things work. Good. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I, I'm looking. I'm looking for a uh, Hyundai Palisades, and I just wanted to know. Can you hear me? Yes, we yeah. can. We're just feeling okay, bad for uh, you because you're looking for a car in high demand. <laughs> oh yeah. So I wanted to ask you what what's reasonable to expect. Um, like, am I going to get just MSRP? I mean, I, I I would think in today's world, if if all they ask you to pay is MSRP, you're probably ahead of the game. <laughs> okay. I, I, I can uh, here. I'll, I'll share a, an email that I received earlier today mm -hmm. about a gentleman who bought a Palisade um, sixteen months ago, and he paid forty thousand five hundred dollars for it sixteen months ago. He's been offered thirty nine thousand six hundred dollars for from CarMax. Uh, wow, a four hundred dollar depreciation for sixteen months of usage. It's more I like, like that. it's more like nine hundred dollars, but he's it, it's so he's going to take the nine hundred dollar loss and sell it to them. Now, my guess is that they're going to turn around and sell it for I don't know what do you think forty two nine forty three nine because there are none. So if you can get a brand new one with no miles at just MSRP, you're doing well in today's world. So let, let me ask you this, though. Do you feel that if you were to buy, say, the calligraphy edition or whatever the, the calligraphy edition is, yes. do you think those are in the same demand level as the base models or the midline models? I, I think the issue is that there's just not a lot of any of them. And, okay. and, and so uh, if there's not a lot of any of them and people wanted the, the base or the mid-range, and there are none, but there's a calligraphy, and the dealer can sell them the calligraphy at just MSRP. You know, then then the person that didn't want to spend that kind of money will probably uh, will probably step up and, and go with the calligraphy edition. So I, I just I just think um, it's it's the basic law of supply and demand at the moment. And, and I'm and I'm on um, Wayne Auto Mall Hyundai just so we can like do this as a live test together. 
They've got okay, they've got twenty palisades in stock. I'm pulling up a which collection. is a lot. Yeah, no, it seems like a and, lot. And and you know, very well might not be twenty. It could be they're including their incoming inventory. Is my guess. Definitely. I'm gonna try and find the VIN here so I can uh, run it back on the market price report. Man, these websites are. Yeah, man, they're enough to drive you crazy. Uh, they really are. Yeah. So, uh, so Ray, I, I was at a car dealer uh, today, and yes. I was looking at a Highlander, and all those silly questions were coming up. Well, how much do you want to spend per month? Of course. Um, you know, do you want to buy? Do you want to finance? What's your credit score? Uh huh. How much are you planning <laughs> on putting down? You know. Exactly. Yes. And, yes. and here's the truth. I actually said I was beginning my search, and I was like, I don't know if I want to buy the car. I don't know if this is the right car. Exactly. And, Good answer. And and I said, I don't know. I said, and then they said, well, we can let you take a test drive in the parking lot. And um, <laughs> I was like, I was like, thanks, but you know, I think I need more than that. It's like, oh, we don't have enough license plates. Oh, and I was God. like, all right. I think you're gonna. I, like, okay. I think you're gonna make your way down south. I just ran the market price report. There's 119 um, calligraphy um, palisades in in uh, within a hundred mile radius. And the highest negotiability score one is at Atlantic Hyundai, which I'm just assuming is here down in southern Jersey, but I could be wrong. It might just be in Atlantic County. And um, um, or, or I think there's a, a company in Long Island. Well, let me run the report on this particular one. But anyway, this is this is how I would approach it because you're looking for aged inventory, essentially new ones that have been. Yeah, there you go. This one's been on the dealer's lot, or they've been advertising to sell at 148 days. The local average is 33. Well, what do you? Th- what, what color is it, by the way? Let's see. Let's. It see, appears let's see. to be white. Yeah, white. Yeah. I love it. Okay. <laughs> I love white. And and I'm just guessing that, that there's something bogus about that vehicle sitting on the lot for 148 days. Uh, it may be a typographical time. error. I have no idea. Yeah. That sometimes... No, I mean, the way, that we, the way that we track that, just so that everyone that's on the stream knows, is like we scrape the dealer's website. So they've probably... My, my... Maybe it's a demo, and it's the general manager's demo or the owner's wife's demo. And they keep it on the website, and she's driving it. And when you get there, Richard, you'll find out that it has, I don't know, forty. miles. Could be something like that. It also could be that. Yeah, it, I, got a, I got yeah. a great deal on a car like that that was in Chicago. Okay. Um, but this actually, number yeah, is accurate. Shipped. I mean, this number is accurate. That's like how long it's been advertised for sale on their website. The 33 and what, and, is. And the, and yeah. What's the negotiability score it's on there? It's a 90. It's, it's the highest one in the area. Yeah. Oh. Take a peek. Take a peek. Uh, we are at like the you know fifteen minute mark of the stream, so go back after you hop off the phone. Take a peek at this and uh, let us know what happens. It looks like it could be a good opportunity for you. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't need the car as you told, as you always said. It's always good to go shopping when you don't need it. Yes. I don't need the car until the end of next month. Okay. So I'm starting to look, but I don't know. As you said, supply and demand. Uh, I, 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 I will I will venture I will venture a guess and suggest to you that whatever incentives there are from Hyundai will be higher this month than they will be next month. And what is that based on? Uh, the fact that there's shortages of cars and they don't have to put as much money uh, out there marketing wise to get people to buy them. Do you think the end of the second quarter being like june 30th would play into that play into that factor it, it, um, it, in they, of- they will they will take a look at what they have available nationally and by region um on june 1st and then they will determine how their marketing dollars as far as incentives and things like that should be spent and where they should be spent the, the, they could be much more regionalized than the nationalized next month would be my oh. suspicion and we've got oh, well, Crooked Dealer good. in the chat saying, better get it now before it's gone. So there's the pressure of that as well. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, well, I mean, it's very great insights. Uh, I appreciate it. Um, you know, I, I love I love your guys' uh, videos. And it was amazing going to the dealer and hearing these very exact same questions and giving them answers that just flustered them beyond belief. Well, we're <laughs> glad you could fluster them. Well, I wasn't trying to. I was just giving them the honest answer. I didn't know. I mean, yeah, but they don't know how, how to I deal. I I want a car. You don't understand. They don't know how to deal with honest. <laughs> hey, well, thanks for calling in. Thanks for being All a right. part of the community. I'll talk to you later. Keep yep. us posted. Thanks so much. Bye-bye now. All right. Bye-bye. All right. That's a good way to start the night. Yeah. Phone lines will be back open. And I think there's actually a great question in there, yes. which is, do I do it now or do I do it a month from now? And and I think if you just it's like, just give a straight-up answer. Do you do it now or do you do it a month from now? I... I think we should answer the phone, and then we can answer it. Afterwards. I think you do it now. Yeah, I do too. 
you're on with your auto advocate. What's your name? Where are you from? And what can we do to help? But also, mute us in the background, pretty please. Gregory Waldron just traded in his two-year-old truck for a $9,000 profit and bought a new one at $7,000 off MSRP. I don't feel like I paid enough for the help you guys provide me, so I'm paying again. Thanks, Gregory, with the $15 donation. Thank you so much, Greg, and we're so glad that, that we could help in some small way. Now to the, the other person on the other end of the line here. Thanks for waiting. What's your name? Where are you from? What can we do to help? Hi, I'm Angela from Pennsylvania. Where in Pennsylvania, Angela? <laughs> Uh, the Poconos? I've heard of that. I've even been in the Poconos. Really? Yes. That's awesome. Yeah, it's Pocono. I, I was spot. at I was at Pocono Motor Speedway once for a uh, ride and drive with uh, some Nissan products at one time. Yeah. Yeah. Not too far from me, actually. You see that? Well, Angela, glad we could give you what you called in for. It's great chatting <laughs> with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So now, nah, what can we watching- do? I've been watching you guys for a little bit now. I sold my car through Carvana. Actually, it was a Nissan not too long ago. Um, I got the best deal from it, better than Kelly Blue Book. So I've been on the market to sell to buy a new car, but I don't have to right now. Uh huh. I have a second vehicle in the house, so I'm in a pretty good spot. Do my research, kind of get a good deal. Okay. So I'm looking at a Subaru Crosstrek. Okay, nice vehicle. I've, I've done my research on uh, True Car. And I know you guys talked about True Car in one of your videos. Mm-hmm. And I went to a dealership in the area today, and I asked for the out-the-door price. Like you guys talked about, they even called me an educated buyer because of some of the things that you guys have said. I've been taking your advice. Um, so that made me feel good. Good. Manager even came out, gave me an out-the-door price with some numbers on it, and I kind of have some questions. Okay. Well, we'll try and have some answers for you. Sure. So the dock fee uh-huh. they put on was was three ninety four. Okay. However, I've gone to the same place previously a couple of years ago, two years ago, same kind of car. Uh huh. The dock the dock fee on that paper was one forty four. Yeah. Well, things go up. <laughs> I, I, I and the only reason I say that is is. Uh, I don't know if, if dock fees are regulated in Pennsylvania. I know, for instance, they're regulated in Maryland. And when I first started uh, working in Maryland, the dock fee was capped at $100. Then it was capped at $200. Wow. And now the cap is up to $500. And I just so- ran a market price report for a Subaru Crosstrek in Pennsylvania. And in our out-the-door price calculator, we have it at 389 Th- These are not penny perfect by any stretch, but we research them and we update it based on what we can find. So yeah, that seems to be the new normal, unfortunately. Yes. It's, it's just another um, way for dealers to make profit. Yeah. Yes. My other price was back to True Car. The True Car gave me the price on this specific car. Uh-huh. It's a Crosstrek Limited okay. as uh, 3379 but the price they're quoting me is almost a thousand dollars higher, just for the selling price. Uh huh. Do well, I use or can I use that True Car price? Well, sure, you can. You could share that with them and say, "Well, True Car says that I should be able to get it for this." Um, and and you know, truth be told, folks, I, I was hoping you could actually do a little better than what True Car suggested. So, um, how much better than the True Car number can you do for me? And and it's just it's just a, a, a fancy way of starting the negotiations. Is that what you recommend, though, Dad? Like, I just want to be because like I've done videos with you for a long, long time, and you've yeah. always preached ask them for their out the door price well, yeah, and go from well, there. But they they already gave her an out the door price. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. I've I've heard from some people, and, and Angela, feel free to, to chime in here. Once you become a true car lead, like, they won't get you off of that. Like, mm-hmm. that's, like, you're now stuck as, like, a true car lead and the true car pricing and things like that. You're not stuck. Okay. <laughs> I need you on the console calls then, Dad, because people are telling me how they're stuck as true car leads. Well, that's, and that's, because, that's because that's what the dealer's telling them. It doesn't mean anything. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Fair yeah. enough. My yeah. My last question for you guys is if I went ahead and negotiated with them on that price a little bit and went into that financing, um, actually, you're, you're close to it. it. It's around that one. Um, it's a 32. It's a white one. I know you guys are looking at it right now. <laughs> 32661 is the, the Subaru I was looking at. Gotcha, okay. gotcha, gotcha. Um, but my question is, going forward, what kind of stuff should I look for? 
uh, or watch out for with uh, the finance person. You, you want you want to watch out for uh, any oh, additional that's the one right there. any additional yep, I see it. <laughs> any additional dealer installed accessories that they're going to try and charge you for, whether it be window tint or window etch or uh, mm -hmm. um, uh, an anti theft. Uh, device or a GPS device like LoJack, um, you want to make sure uh, that they're not stuffing the deal with the gap insurance if you don't need it. it and that's going to depend on how much money you put down. Um, mm -hmm. But you just, you, you, you want to go through, if you're financing it, you want to go through line for line on the buyer's order and the bank contract Ooh. and make sure you understand everything and if you have any questions slow it down and say please explain this to me and pops if you don't mind just hanging tight for one second do you remember we actually did an old i mean this is one of the og blog posts was how to read a buyer's order yeah um so okay. let me find that back on the website and angela i will put that um in the live chat for you it's a great read and Perfect. and we also have um if you just search like f and i back on the website We've got all sorts of content that, like with Kimberly that we've produced over the years. But I will find that buyer's order one here live. And man, we've got a lot of content. Yeah, we got to we organize do. this yeah. stuff. Holy <laughs> cow. Yeah. Boy, how do you expect our, our... You guys are awesome, by the way. Well, thank you. Fun Nathan. to watch, too. Yeah. And informative. I think we need some help organizing that. I'm going to be yeah. very honest because, oh, here we go. How to read uh, your vehicle purchase agreement, how to read and understand it. Look it took me that. a minute, but I found it. Yeah. I mean, it. Oh, and we must have done a video on oh, it, too. Oh, look at that. And there's a video, too. June of last year, Dad. It's hard to keep track of all it this is. stuff. It is. It's almost a year. <laughs> Angela, I'm putting this in the chat, and I'm going to do Angela in all caps. So, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Zach. You, and thanks. Look at that. And thanks, Dad. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I, I, might have, I might have actually written it, but I know I participated in the video. <laughs> Angela, let us know how you make out, okay? We'll, yes, we'll be... please keep us posted. All right, you got it, guys. Thank you so much. Have a good night. You See too. Bye-bye now. Oh, Bye. can I say something before we go to the next call? Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> Smash that damn like button, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I don't understand uh, algorithms and all that neat stuff, but I know, I know that our dear friends at YouTube, they like seeing likes. And, well, I don't, I you know, I, I like seeing likes. So smash the damn like button like us love us uh tell all your friends um let's 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 break youtube tonight um yes let's definitely break youtube i'm gonna work on something a little a little uh a little project here while we're live i'll see if i can if i can figure it out probably not you're gonna, gonna be work able on to. a project while we're gonna work on a project while we're live you can't even answer your emails you've got three million unanswered emails why are you gonna work on a project while we're live my dad is right that was a great call from Angela. It was a good call before that as well. Thanks, everyone, mm -hmm. for calling in. Yes. Phone number is 855-587-2886. Is that 855-587-2886? Well, is that the one? 855-587-2886. Okay. Oh, man. Yeah. yeah, it's a tough market to be out there if you're trying to buy a car right now. But yeah. you it's can't even, do it. Yeah, it's even tougher to be us at the moment. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you're on with your auto advocate. What's your name? Where are you from? What can we do to help? Hi, Bob. I'm from Englewood, Florida. Hi, Bob. I How are you? I'm good. I talked with you guys about three weeks ago. We were trying to buy a, uh, a new 2021 Kia Seltos S, and um, we weren't getting anywhere with the dealers, and you said try several different dealers. So I did, and I started pitting them against each other. And you also said, don't trade my car on to Carvana, and Carvana is going to give us a great price on our 2012 Prius. They're coming Monday to pick it up. Wow, look so at that. So I just want to say, you, you guys were great. I mean, I plugged all the information into your what an out-the-door price, and they beat that out-the-door price. Um, and even when we got to the dealership, the guy said, gosh, it's $300 slower than what we quoted you. So I think I got a really good deal on a a new uh, Kia Seltos, um, and Carvana's going to buy my car for more than anybody else would offer. And thanks to you guys, because you well, guys really pushed me forward to, to do that and to, and to uh, contact other dealers. So I just wanted to say thanks a lot. Well, well, Bob, thank you for that. I just, I just want to make sure I understand what you're saying. You're suggesting <laughs> that we actually can help. Don't let it go to your head, yeah. Pops. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm saying. So, I'll be a uh, son of a gun. 
Oh my God! Well, I'm glad we could help. It it, it means a lot to us. Yeah, Bob. Really, that's yeah, awesome. I, it, yeah, and it was. I mean, it was great. I was just amazed that finally people started pinning bidding against each other, and you know, I we got a, a, a new Kia Seltos out the door price for uh, twenty four six five five. Good so, for you. So I I think give we me the did, stamp you know, of approval. Well I was and, waiting for it. There it is, Bob, up on the screen. You got the Ray My Chef, dad's stamp face. of approval. Good job, you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> hey, well, Bob, thanks for calling in. Thanks for being a part of the okay. community. And um, Thank you, guys. Yeah, yeah okay. thanks so Our much. Our pleasure. Bye-bye now. Okay. Bye-bye. That's great. Some Chevy dealers in Pennsylvania are adding a $5,000 addendum to the MSRP on the 2021 Silverado 2500 heavy-duty truck. You know, I received today my first uh, Memorial Day sale yeah. uh, promotion email. Yeah, did it come from us? No, 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 no. Like from a dealership, from yeah. a Ford dealership. You yeah. know what they were heavily promoting? No, what? Their 2020 inventory. Oh, well, that's probably all they had. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd, I'd be heavily promoting that, too, if that's all I had this year. Yeah, had some 2020s yeah. on the lot. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and speaking of which, uh, phone lines are now back open. Again, we have our 10 days, 10 ways to save, 10 different nights that just happen to be after each other. Um, 10 consecutive nights. Consecutive oh nights God. going live to help you if you're buying a car this Memorial oh Day. God. You're on with your auto advocate. What's your name? Where are you from? What can we do to help? Hey, hi, guys. Uh, my name is Orma. I'm from California. Hi, Orma. Uh, How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. How are you? Good. Uh, wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you. Um, actually, awesome. I have a quick question for you guys. Uh, I was driving a Chevy uh, 2016 Premier, and I got the car for 17.5 out the door like a year ago. Mm-hmm. And uh, Shift says that it's now worth 20900 So I sold the car to Shift. For like twenty five thousand, sorry, twenty five hundred profit. Uh huh. And I am looking for a car because uh, I don't have any secondary vehicle, so I need a car right now. I'm looking at BMW X2. Uh, car gurus thinks it's four thousand uh, dollars off of uh, what the market value is. It thinks it's a good value. Um. I it has like all the options. I look I love the interior and the auto advocate when I run the win number it says it's uh slightly negotiable. It's like two hundred dollars uh-huh. cheaper. So do you guys think it's a good time to buy the car? Uh the dealer is not like budging, he's not Armand, uh, give us lowering. give us one second here. Uh it, it, we just have to do it. Ken Baran <laughs> with a fifty dollar donation for contribution yes commitment to to ya for, for ray's birthday bash to get it started and for upcoming 10 days in a row of uh video shows live streams glad you're back in maryland we're here in new jersey ken but we still love you yeah um ken thank you that is so thoughtful so so much appreciated and uh armand i wish we knew how like to send the 50 to you because we could help you with the down payment on the x2 but here, but, here no, thank here, you ken here's the truth when it comes to the uh, to the x2 um right Run away. now Right now, dealers are just <laughs> holding firm on their pricing when it comes to pre-owned cars. So. Aren't the X2s notoriously? Um, didn't they have recalls or weren't there Not issues with I'm the X2s? The X- are they built on the same platform? The, oh, is that that was the X1? No, the the, the I believe the X2 and my Clubman are built on the built same. On, okay, platform. I, I, for some reason I thought there was. Yeah. Yeah. Armand, have you gotten an out the door price? Yes, uh, it's thirty thousand out the door. It's like pretty mint condition. It has. 11,000 miles on it. It's a 2018. Um, so it has like warranty and everything. So it's uh, very hard to pass. But uh, have have uh, you been to the dealer? Yes. Okay. Uh, well, you know, if you're happy with the price and Car Guru seems to think it's a good value, not that they would or wouldn't really know. Um, well, what's on the out the door? I mean, but, that's but, what's. But if you're if you're happy with the price and the car um, meets your wants and needs for what you're looking for at the moment, and it seems reasonably priced, then pull the trigger. If if you can't find anything out there that is either a better value or even remotely close in price, then you know it's a good deal. And and if I can make a suggestion, 
take the VIN for that car and go to the Carvana website and run it on their website and see what they would offer you for it if you were trying to sell it to them. And Armand, run, yeah, the, uh, run the black book number as yeah. well. I uh, the out of the door price was thirty thousand out the door. I uh, Carvana is offering me twenty eight thousand out the door, and actually Shift is offering thirty one thousand seven hundred out the door. Uh, so uh, if I buy it and sell it to Shift, I might actually make well, money. Well, yeah, I, I'm not I'm not suggesting you buy it and sell it, but at least it gives you an idea as to whether or not you're buying it at a good price. That would be the only reason I would. I would look at Carvana or Shift or Vroom or any of those to see what they might offer for the vehicle. That that at least lets you know whether or not you're getting a, a fair deal in today's market. Gotcha. Makes sense. Yeah, I really appreciate you guys. Your, well, thank you. Your videos are really helpful and it's uh, helping a lot of us. Well, And I feel that, like we got to mention pre-purchase inspection. Even with 11,000 miles, consider it. It's a $30,000, you know. Yeah, uh, investment. Uh, it, I, I hate using that word, but it's, it's, not, appre well, today, but it's appreciating right yeah, now. Yeah, right so. now, it, it, it very well might be an investment. Hey, Armand, you can stay on the line the whole night because we just got a $5 donation yeah. from Stand Up Ann. So, Armand, you seem to be our, our good luck charm Yes, here, thank so. you, Armand. You're, you're, a good, you're a good luck charm thank for Thank you, tonight. Stand Up Ann, as yes, well, of course. Yes, thank you all. Armand, let us know what you thank do. You but if, yes, let if us know Ruben how you make it. If Shift are going to buy it for even more, then sounds like a no-brainer. Yep. Yep, thank you, guys. Yep, See have ya. a good one. Nice. Yeah. Armand. Yeah, buddy, we staying on the phones? Yeah, I like staying on the phones. Okay. We'll give Stand Up Ann a quick little confetti shower. Yeah, yeah. I'm so I, proud of myself. I am, too. That is really wonderful. I need you to tell me, Pops, what you want to appear over us as an animated GIF, and I'll figure out how to do it. What? That's what that is. This is called, this is called a That's, GIF. Yeah, G-I-F. It's a GIF. I know what a GIF it's is. It's a GIF. Yeah, but what do you mean over us? Like, do you see how the confetti's falling? Like, put, like touch it. Grab it. Yeah, I, touch I, it. Stop touch it. it. Stop touch it. Stop it. I'll I'll get up and walk out. <laughs> Please don't. Eight five 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 eight seven two eight eight six. Call in. You know, what, what are, you know we like, want to know what's going like on. Like if it's your a banter, I want like a dog lifting its leg and whizzing on me. I mean, what? You could. You yeah, could, we could, could do that. All right. Let's see here. You're on with your auto advocate. What's your name? Where are you from? What can we do to help? Hello, Zach. This is uh, Lorenzo from Colorado. Uh, we had a consultation on Monday. Lorenzo from Colorado with the consultation yeah, on right. Monday. I remember it like it was Monday. Monday. Yeah. <laughs> like it was Monday, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, and so we were talking uh, about the uh, fours and the F 150s and that. Like, there are ma major ship shortage on there. Uh, when we were speaking to get everyone up to speed, uh, I was looking at one in California. So I'll go fly out somewhere. One was in California. They were charging 5,000 uh, ADM. One was charging 10. There was even one charging $20,000 addition to their markup out in uh, Calabasas. Wow. So that was ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, so I ended up going with the one in Las Vegas. Um, the guy, I guess, they're doing a deal on it. So I couldn't really get it that day. But the next day, they're like, the guy never, uh, he didn't pull the trigger or something to do with credit. Well, anyways, uh, they, uh, they were offering a $1,500 incentive for financing it. So I did that. Then they were offering an additional twenty five hundred dollars for a trade in. So what I did was that night I went on Craigslist, found a ninety seven Honda Civic for five hundred bucks. <laughs> Called the dealership and said, "Hey, uh, I got a ninety seven Honda Civic. Um, would you guys be interested in it?" And they're like, "Yeah, sure, it's bring it on by. I don't know how much you can get it. You give me for it, but just bring it on in." I'm like, "Okay, cool." So I meet the guy, fly in the night before, get the car, we go to the DMV, get a title to my name. And everything. Uh, I have a cousin who lives in Las Vegas, which is I can get it titled to that address. Bring it to the dealership the next day. Um, they offered me seven hundred bucks for it. I'll it. All right, whatever, I'll take it. So I end up getting let's see, uh, twenty five hundred plus fifteen, so we're at three four thousand dollars saved. And then on top of that, I'm a recent college grad, so it's another thousand dollars saved. So overall, I saved five thousand two hundred dollars, all because. How are you guys? Lorenzo, you're breaking up a little bit. I heard all of it. I'm going to repeat some of it for my dad for the audience for online. Dad. Sure. Um, he <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> bought a Civic for 500 They gave him 700 plus a $2,500 trade, trade, trade yeah. credit. Yeah. In a market yeah. where yeah. in Calabasas, his backyard would have been a 20,000 ADM additional yeah. dealer markup. Yeah. Lorenzo, yeah. 
Can I do it, Pops? Yeah, give him the stamp of approval. Give him to him like once. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's give it to him twice. Yeah. Three times a charm? Yeah, okay, three times a charm. That's it. That's it. That's like yeah. an, an awesome example of the yes. deals you can, like the work it's you got to do. But but, but, you, but that's what you have to do. Lorenzo, was it more or less work than your recent college education experience? Uh, it was less work, I would say. <laughs> Sounds equally as profitable. Yeah, yeah so I mean, uh, right now, I think like your, your very first caller was saying he wasn't in the market for another month which i was as well i'm not i wasn't looking for a vehicle for another month um just because I, it was for a business transaction but you know if it comes up right now you have to do it there's like especially if it's a, if it's a vehicle that's not really out there too often that's like definitely pull the trigger now is my advice to everybody hey well Lorenzo, thanks for calling in. Unfortunately, with the audio going in and out, we'll probably jump off, oh, no. but it was awesome yeah. meeting you on Monday, and congrats on your purchase. Um, it's it's fantastic to hear. Thanks for being a part of this. Perfect. Another 5,000. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> See you, Lorenzo. All right. Thanks, Talk Lorenzo. Oh, that was good. Yeah. That's. I mean, that's creative. Yeah. I yeah. mean, he literally bought a car. Yeah. Flew into another state, bought a car, yes, so you could get the trade in assistance. Yeah, yeah. Can I turn on the AC pops? It's a little warm in here. I'm feeling a little warm. You know what happens when we're in here? The lights, the uh, you the, can take the, the AC next... isn't even on. No, let, me, let me open the. Let me open the. You can take a call from Texas. No, I can't. <laughs> I'll here. I'll go open the door. No, no, no. Stay. People, people want you, not me. Hello. What are you gonna do when they realize they don't want either one of them? <laughs> <laughs> you're on with your auto advocate. What's your name? Where are you from? What can we do to help? Hi there. My name is Wheel, and I'm from Houston, Texas. All right, Wheel. Is that correct? Wheel. Wheel. Perfect. Wheel. What can we do to help? Hey, I just kind of wanted to give a quick story for some other listeners out there. Um, so my father-in-law recently bought a new vehicle uh, a couple of weeks ago. I just want to uh, be watching you guys uh, for a couple of weeks already, and I really like the way you guys are advising everybody else out there, advocate. <laughs> well, thank you. Um, um, yeah, so he bought a... 2021 Volkswagen Jetta, um, the top one, I guess they go by, you know, different levels. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> I usually go with him to the dealers kind of to help him out a little bit. Um, this time he decided to go on his own. Um, so by the time he got home, you know, I'm like, let me see the contract. Let me go over it. Why? Well, after looking it over, I realized that somehow they managed to put four thousand dollars for wheels and rims. Um, yeah, so uh, it was kind of you know uh, he said he did not agree to that. Somehow they sneaked that on there. He said they reprinted the contract like two times, and somehow they managed to get it in there. Um, so I just want to. You know, let everybody else aware of finance that you got to double check all your paperwork. Wow. Yeah. You, you really have to check everything that they're doing. Zach, please get back here. Uh, you, you, you have to double check everything. Um, and, and if because they have to disclose it, even if they put their hand over it or whatever. But but you, you need to know what you're signing and what you're what you're ultimately agreeing to. And uh, so it's imperative that you, you really look over all of the paperwork before you sign it and, and, and leave with the vehicle. Yeah. Um, so the next day we went back. Uh -huh. uh, so I had to go back and, you know, we have to get this fixed because he did not agree to it. Um, so long story short is they did not want to fix the contract. They did not want to redo another contract. Uh huh. So, uh, everything was digi digitally signed and sent, so they couldn't do another contract. So they made us fill out another paperwork, another sheet that he could cancel that, but the payment and the month is going to remain the same. All is going to change is those $4,000 are going to come out of his total loan yes. after, a, after a week. Yeah, what it, what it'll do is it'll reduce the uh, the payoff amount 
on the loan is, is what will happen. But the payment will stay the same. The term will stay the same, but it will actually get paid off quicker because there's $4,000 less to pay off. Correct. Yes. Correct. So it was kind of a bad experience for him. Um, so, but just uh, wanted to make sure everybody's out there that out there want, want, when they're buying cars to make sure they double check their paperwork at finance. Well, Will, thanks for calling in. We really appreciate it. And like my dad always says, if it's taxable, it's negotiable, aka you don't have to buy it. So thanks for the anecdote. It's really helpful. All right. Thank you, guys. Appreciate your help. Thanks, Will. I'll be right back. I'm going to go get you a, a, a wet. No, uh, I don't yeah. want to. No, I don't want to wet. I want AC, man. Well, it's let me go here. take care of it. You, you talk. You vamp. No, because then I'm like, yes. then I let me do it. No, you don't know what you're doing, Dad. <laughs> no, I want to do it. It's <laughs> my condo. Jeez. I couldn't open the door, and yeah, I'm I hot because it gets hot as it gets really hot in there. Yeah, yeah, it's hot. Well, first of all, you can't do what you wanted to do the way you wanted to do it. That's number one. It's a nice condo, though. <laughs> it is, but, you know, you, you, you actually lock the door. <laughs> so you could have been tugging on it all night. Okay, so let me go to the door to cool down. You Jeez. vamp. Yeah. <laughs> so you're vamping. I'm cooled down. Damn. Oh, goodness, that feels good. Jeez. Uh, oh, my God. I don't, you know, yeah, he's, listen, I think we're going to do the, the rest of the show from the balcony. Oh, um Get back here. You can't just walk out on your show. <laughs> yeah, you can feel it blowing in there, okay? It feels good. Okay, all right. Yeah, jeez. All right, your auto advocate. Yeah. Hot hot flash uh, yeah. can yeah. Uh, happen. Yeah. 25 years old and he's having hot flashes. Dude, jeez. I've had hot flashes my whole life. Yeah. You know that. Yeah, it's you're been really sweater. I am. Okay, I feel good now, though. Should we open up the phone lines back again, or should we? Now that we open the door. <laughs> it feels so good in here. Yeah. All right. Let's open the phone lines back up. <laughs> Please, if someone wants to call in and also acknowledge that they sweat a lot, I'm like super well, I was going to get you a, no, a washcloth okay. I feel good now. for your forehead. No, I, it's just like with the... We're good. Well, we're I good. know. There's lights. Buried now is the us. worst time to buy a car, and also if it's it's hot. Look at that, it's 61 degrees in South Bend. Phone lines are open, 855-587-2886. Yeah. don't forget to smash the damn like button, ladies and gentlemen. We got we to gotta smash that. We got we to gotta have a record number of likes tonight. I was going to try and demo something, but okay, do you want to... No, go ahead, going? demo, demo. One of the things that we're working on... Ooh, take no. your clothes off, oh my God. <laughs> ceiling fans, I don't believe in ceiling fans. One of the things that we're working on right now yeah. is um, updates to the out-the-door price count. Oh, oh. All right, I'll Saved by the bell. I'll come back to it. You promise? Yes. Oh, do you mind muting us in the background? Yeah. Hello. Hey. Here we go. How are you? <laughs> uh, I'm warm right now, but I'm cooling down. How are you doing? <laughs> Fine. Yeah. Hey, I'm calling from uh, West Virginia. Oh, oh, God. Cool. Where in West Virginia? We were just driving through. Oh, really? Uh, near Parkersburg, just north of Parkersburg. I live in the boonies. Uh, well, that's, was, that, that's, that's, to, that's pretty close to Wheeling, isn't it? Or Morgantown? Uh, Boonies? No. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> no, we're kind of in between Clarksburg and Parkersburg. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, I'm in the Boonies. Anyway, okay. hey, uh, I, I noticed a lot of the car dealers, uh, when I was trying to either buy a new or uh, even a used pre-certified, um, they wasn't wanting to give me anything for my vehicle. It was like ten thousand dollars for my 2016 Jeep Renegade. Wow! And it, and it's only got like seventy one thousand miles on it. And I was wanting to buy another Jeep. And and those dealer after dealer after dealer doing the same thing. And then when I finally found a dealer that gave me what I thought was fair, the price was so high on the new vehicle. <laughs> Yeah. They just bumped it up. It's gotcha. like crazy. And I'm, I'm thinking, and this is all in my area, like the Parkersburg, Marietta, high area. And how can these guys keep doing this to people that's on retirement? Um, I mean, we can't afford vehicles right now. Did, <laughs> have, used have, ones. Have, you, have you run your Jeep on Carvana to see what they might offer for it? I've never tried that. Uh, well, I wonder, when we were in Wheeling, Carvana ads and billboards were everywhere, so that's a yes. great idea. Yeah, you need leverage. Yeah, 
I and and tr trust me when I tell you this. I've watched Zach do it any number of times, and you can get a quote from them in like two minutes. Do you have your VIN in front of you? We can do it live on the show. Uh, no, I don't. It, uh, it's out in the Jeep. Uh, <laughs> well, you know, that, Fair that's, enough. Real, that's really a good place for it when you think about it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to go outside. I'm uh, running around in my underwear. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, I can I can tell you with as hot as Zach is, he should be running around. I, I'm, I feel good. I feel good now. Like, yeah, oh, he feels good now. Okay. I do. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I think that you but, that genuinely. Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> but, my, you know, that vehicle is uh, not scratched up, banged up anything it's even got good good tires and they're not wanting to give you anything then when you find and you drive by a dealer and you see your same vehicle that you got for 16.99 yeah <laughs> well and i'm thinking you greedy bastard <laughs> yes Why well you, you guys know, they here's 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 the theory when it comes to dealers they always want to buy low and sell high okay oh and, yeah yeah <laughs> And, and, well, yeah. I didn't expect that low. I mean, that's like, oh my God! It's called no, still the trade, right, Pops? It's yeah. like that's what it's I, called. I mean, I hear you, but it's just that's why you need the leverage of 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 doing it on Carvana, seeing what they might offer you, Here, and then you can take it to the dealer and say, "Listen, this is what the good folks at Carvana will pay for it. I don't necessarily expect you to pay this much for it, but I expect you to do a hell of a lot better than what you've been offering me. And if you can't, yeah. then I will sell it to Carvana, and I'll just come back and buy the uh, my new Jeep from you, but you won't have a used one to resell. So that, if, that, that's if, your if you If you two don't so mind. Carvalho actually buy my vehicle without Absolute, me buying another from Absolutely, them. yes. Here, I just, and that they're not going to lowball me or anything? No, no, they'll highball you. Trust me. I just... Really? Uh, yes. Wait, Zach's getting mad at me. Well, I'm definitely going to take we a look We have a product that, to sell. I don't man. know if I want to buy another vehicle right now because they're so expensive. I mean... <laughs> Like a fifteen thousand dollar vehicle a year ago, uh, uh, a pre owned two thousand twenty uh, or or an eighteen or something like that it was like uh, what was a Chevy something uh, SUV was going for like fifteen eight is now twenty three thousand dollars in this area. Oh my God! Well, yeah, that's the, yeah, the, it's crazy. How do they expect people in retirement to even get a vehicle to even? You know, we got to have vehicle to function. I think they expect you to take Uber. <laughs> I don't know. But, but that's, that's all I wanted, guys. Hey, so well, I will try that Carvana. I really will. Please Give it a shot. Let us know how it goes. Yes. Have a good night. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You too. Um, Did I do something wrong? No, but you got to sell our shit. And stuff. Sorry, sorry for the stream. You got to sell our stuff. Like, we have the black book trade and valuation. Yeah. And, like, the one actual nice thing about this is you can see what that spread is then going to be to yeah. retail, right? Yes. Like, we, we we recommend, obviously, the Carvana quotes and the shift quotes and things like that. But, like, the reason that we spend tens of thousands of dollars yes. on this black book data is because it's also going to be informative in helping you understand that spread. Yes. What you're going to be trading it in for and then what the retail price is going to be. So I just, it's just my okay, subtle well, reminder to you. I'm glad you got that in. Just like, you know, you're allowed to mention it. Okay. Don't forget to value your trade. <laughs> Get out of here. Right, never mind. <laughs> Go to our website. You can value your trade. You know, one of yeah. us has got to. I mean, you know. I you got paid on Friday. My dad's on payroll now. I am. So yeah, like yeah. that was the first time you got paid. Yeah, uh, yeah. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> yeah, you want more? <laughs> okay. I mean, you know, just because I'm I'm the lowest paid employee in the history of your company. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. I, you know, it's lucky. You know. I'm, All I'm right. Phone lines father, are open. Eight five five eight five five eight five 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 eight seven. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, come on. This uh, is your job. 28 <laughs> dude. No, I'm done. You want me to get yeah. paid for the show? No, I'm, kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. 855 uh, uh, Yes. Phone lines are open. While we're waiting for the call, I want to show yeah, everyone what we're working on. I might have to go get on. a sweater. I'm starting to freeze. It feels great. So I, all right. I'll show on the next one. Yeah. You're on with your auto advocate. What's your name? Where are you from? What can we do to help? Hi, hi. I'm glad you guys are doing the uh, live stream. I'm Greg. I'm from Massachusetts. Hey, Greg. How are you tonight? 
No, I'm doing all right. I hope you guys are having a nice day. Uh, well, we are. Zach's a little warm, but he's... No, he's... I feel freaking great now. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I have to say I sympathize with you because uh, I am also a, a heavy sweater. Yes. Yeah, man. It's so. it's a lifestyle and one that's not always the most fun. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, I bring I bring those instant ice packs with me in my car on the, on the hot uh-huh. days. I just throw them on my neck on hot drives. Even with what the a AC great on, idea. Nice. Next live Greg, stream. Greg, that's getting the Ray Shevska stamp <laughs> yeah. of approval. Next, that's fantastic. Next, next Next live stream, we're going to wrap one of them around your neck. Greg, what can we do to help you? <laughs> so, I've been in the market for a new car for uh, quite a while. I, I'm a professional dog walker working in one of the big cities nearby. And uh, so, I, I have some limited options because I need something that has uh, rear seats that fold mostly flat so I can put a liner in there and just have the dog mobile. Uh huh. Um, but I'm also limited because I'm a taller guy and my, I'm currently driving a Honda Fit, which I love the thing, but it's just too small for me and it's giving my back trouble. So, I'm kind of boxed into the situation where I'm at the moment pretty much in dire need of this new car, despite it being a terrible time for it, which I'm sure you've gotten a lot of calls about. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I went into a few dealerships and, uh, you know, with some of the stuff I learned from, uh, from you guys, I was able to, you know, hold, hold my own and with talking to some of them and, you know, cut the, cut the BS. Good. Um, but I'm still trying to figure out whether I should go the route of buying a new car that's going to have a lower, um, it's going to have, you know, maybe they have like a 0% APR financing or something on it or a used one um, where they might, you know, they might kind of rack it up on the back end of the deal. Um, I'm currently looking at Ford Escapes. And uh, what, what I'm getting is I'm getting somewhere around going price before the before the prices really went up a few months ago, I'd say going price is around 16 or 17, 9 um for an se the sport version is kind of one of those you just don't bother buying because it's got a different engine and all that um so uh, it's about 16 million for the for for a used like 2018 2017 but it's only you know 26 or so for for a brand new one where i'm gonna and i put a lot of miles on it What, what are your thoughts on that well i i my thoughts are that you're probably better off with a new one Getting all the mm-hmm. all the warranty, taking advantage of any cheap financing that Ford might have, um, and rather than run the risk of uh, issues with a pre-owned car, if you're doing uh, doing a lot of driving, uh, the last thing you need to do is have the car break down when it's full of dogs. And and I'll just uh, and that is a good point. I'm sharing my screen. This was the first Memorial Day offers email I got uh, from, from a Ford dealership Chambers, yeah. and um, uh, that's, a, that's a Massachusetts dealer group. yeah so you actually I mean wow. uh, um, the, the in this promotion it's the 2024 escape um, SE and, and this was the no com- way. <laughs> and this was the comment I was making to my dad earlier 2020s they've got one 2020 on their promo list here so actually let's do this live on the show so I just clicked view inventory let's see what 2020 yeah, escapes this is, they this have. is the herb chambers and brain tree and brain tree yeah Anyway, no way, I'm, 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 I'm one town over. That's oh, crazy. Look, we are so <laughs> glad that we can help. I kind of had a hunch you were going to call in tonight, Greg. Yeah. And the ice pack thing, it, it just it reinforced how, how, how important and beautiful this is. Uh, I'm taking a VIN. I'm running a report. Um, let's just see what your area looks like. But that the reason I bring it up is because a 2020 is still new. Yes. But the dealer's the probably going to have a little bit more desire and, and, to want to move it. And they, they probably have look at that. pretty good incentives on them. and. And, uh, the market yeah, day you, supply on the 2020 escapes in your area is 143 days. Yes. So those lots aren't full of 2021s. They're full of 2020s. So, yeah. There yeah. 95 of them in the area. Boom. Wow. That's beautiful. See? My gosh. Well, I knew I, I knew I called the right people. Yes, you did, <laughs> apparently. Yeah. That was so That was so serendipitous. Yes. Yeah. That's fantastic. So to just check with these guys, I guess. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, you guys, you got you know, you guys got to start having those uh, YouTube affiliate links in your in your description so that you make a cut. <laughs> oh, I don't know, I don't know. I don't we, know how any of that got, stuff works. So we could maybe we could do it for like uh, like Dunkin' Donuts or something like that. Like well, people I buy know, Dunkin' or, Donuts. Or even you just you find you find the companies that are that are treating their people at least decently. You know, Greg, and you, you want to you get you get the auto advocate seal of approval. You get you go in our YouTube subscription and in return. We get uh, we get the uh, affiliate cut. The way <laughs> the way to support us. Appreciate the thought. The way to support us back on the website. 
50 bucks gets you three months access to the software that we keep building out, gets you the weekly members only live streams and a 15 minute consult with one of us. The other ones don't have the consult, but gets you access to the platform. So that is the way right now to support us. And of course, maybe down the line, there are other things too, but, but we'll, we'll play well, it by year. Like, sound, that's, no, that sounds like a, that sounds like a good deal to me, especially with the, considering it's 50 bucks and you're probably going to save me a few thousand on a car. So well, that, that's the plan. <laughs> that's the hope. Hey, that yeah. report I just ran live, man, that, yeah. go, go eat them up. <laughs> that's what they're there for. <laughs> I, you know what? I, I'm, I'm going to go, I'm going to go sign up right now and I'll, I'll be in touch to mm. get this purchase finished. I really appreciate the advice you guys. Thank hey. you so much. Have a great night. Okay. You too, you too. Yeah. Good night, bye thanks bye. for calling. We probably need to pay him. Yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I'll open the yeah. phone lines back up. But while I'm doing that, yeah, Dad, yeah. I think I showed you this on the... Um... Can I make a silly suggestion? If you want to show me something, do it while the phone's on Do Not well, can you stop? Can you stop talking so I can show you? I'm... I'm... <laughs> on did, the you close, did you just close the screen door? Do you want me to? Well, you're supposed to. That lets oh, the, the screen, fresh air in. The screen door is closed. Oh, is it? I need to show this. Okay. But Jason Faulkner gave us a donation. Okay, okay. so we're going to oh, go, okay. go back. Oh my God. And now we're going <laughs> to... Stay tuned. Wow, we're going to hit 700 viewers. We've never had 700 viewers before. Wow. This is going to be incredible. Wow. You're on with your auto advocate. What's your name? Where are you from? What can we do to help? And R. Dillon, I will take my dad to a nice restaurant. Thank you for the donation. Just not tonight. Thank you, J. <laughs> Faulkner, J. K. J. K. Faulkner as yes. well. Say hello. 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 <laughs> yes, hello. You're on with your auto advocate. Where are you from and uh, oh, what's your name and how the hell can we help you? Yeah, well, my name is Alex. I'm in the Chicago, Illinois area. Okay. Uh, first of all, I just want to say thanks because today I went to a car dealership for the first time ever in my life with my wife today, and I felt so empowered and in control of the whole situation, and it was all because of your guys' input and advice. So thank you so much. I, and I bet, and I bet your wife thought very highly of you as well because of it. <laughs> She did. When See? we were driving home, she's like, "Great, hey, you did really well. How did you know how to do all this? Like, I did some research, watched some videos. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she was probably getting frustrated that you kept watching these two knuckleheads <laughs> on YouTube. Like, what the hell are you watching? Exactly. But it paid off. Do you want to share your story with us? Now, now, now I get the green light for that, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So how'd it go? Um, so it went well. I mean, definitely it was really, like, when we were doing the car, uh, doing the test drive and everything, like, they did all the lines that you guys say that they do, you know, like they did all those, oh, you love the car, right? Isn't it great? And like, I was kind of like, I was ready because you guys had kind of talked about this stuff. So it was really, it was really good. And so I really knew kind of how to, because I went in today, I didn't want to buy a car today. I just really wanted to test drive. I wanted to see the car, not just do research on the internet, right? So mm -hmm. it was really helpful to kind of just see the car and get it, um, and see it in person and kind of push away the numbers and talk and all that. And so I was felt just really ready to kind of do all that. And now I know my wife and I are really kind of, okay, now we're going to buy the car maybe next weekend when we have time. So. Very cool. Well, I'm glad we could, we could, we could make you feel more comfortable and confident going in and, and uh, dealing with well car people uh, who as a, uh, as a rule are not necessarily fun to uh, deal with. So um, it, it, it warms our hearts when we know we're able to uh, help people in some small way when it comes to uh, uh, buying a, a newer pre-owned car. I think I said. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. You agree, Zach? <laughs> I, yes, okay, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> You'll have to call in next week and let us know how it yeah, actually please. goes. At, next at, Saturday night, let us it's know all, how it's going, wraps. how it went. I will. Thank you so much, guys. Yep. Good luck have explaining good that you just called in to the guys on YouTube that you've been watching and <laughs> Godspeed with that. Right. Exactly. <laughs> See ya. Thanks so much. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. All right. We're doing it this time. Well, leave it on Do Not Disturb. So, so we're doing do the adva the pro out the door calculator. We are got the data. The, yeah. the team's actually programming this right now. So we'll ask you for your actual address. Yeah. And then we'll be able to give you penny perfect what the OTD is going to be. Yeah. Doc fees can be variable. So each yeah. state we still have that variability, but we're going to have the caps. And you'll get 
every feed. So in California, this is going to have like 32 rows of stuff. It's going to be nuts. And all the taxes so broken out by year. I'm not buying a car in California. So to get access to the Out the Door Pros Calculator Pro, yeah. become a Your Auto Advocate member. This is what's going to be coming up down the pike and probably within a month, I would say. Cool. Um, and, and, you know, super proud and excited for the team that we, we have that. Ring, ring, ring. It's North Carolina calling. Oh. You're on with your auto advocate. What's your name? Where are you from? What can we do to help? What's going on, Zach? Hey, it's uh, Jonathan. Uh, I'm from North Carolina. We actually had a one-on-one on Monday about the Ford Explorer. I was in the accident the Friday prior, and uh, you gave me some advice, and I wanted to see if I get the seal, uh, the seal of approval from your father on uh, my deal. It's on both of us, Jonathan, so let's see yeah, what the hell, how yeah. the hell we did. Yeah, let me know what okay. happened. <laughs> Okay, so uh, so unfortunately I was in an accident. Uh, Saturday I went to look for cars. I was hoping, you know, to save up and get an F one fifty. Unfortunately, couldn't with the accident and everything that had happened, can't couldn't get that. So um, I was looking at a Highlander or an Explorer. The Explorer um, fit the budget uh, a little bit better. Mm-hmm. Found found an XLE for uh that was just a 200a so none of the fancy key fobs or anything like that because i could start it from the phone and everything like that anyway okay uh called a few car dealerships basically they were like 36 38 found the exact same sticker two dealerships um and uh, as the other ones that gave me 38 they both came in at 33 one at 33 712 one at 33 650 wow I told them uh, that the sticker tag was uh, 362875 or something like that. Well, that and yeah. um, so I, uh, I told the one, one with, as soon as the gas shortage hit, the $100 was going to make and break me. Tried calling them and saying, let's make the deal. They ended up not returning my phone call. Um, after the manager, the sales manager called me and said, Hey, yeah, I'll do that. Sure thing. I'll call you back in five minutes. I called him back four times that day. He did Jeez. not call me back at all for, um, any response whatsoever. So I called the other guy the next morning and said, Hey, is thirty three six fifty still on the table? Let's get financing. Let's get it done. Mm-hmm. Um, unfortunately, cause it was my first time buying a car and I basically have no credit cause I'm. 28 and the first time i ever got a credit card was last year um they hammered me with eight percent financing mm. oh my didn't get a pre um, i mean but, i know it's short turnaround but I guess he didn't have a chance to get a pre-approval uh i tried to get a pre-approval from my bank and they wouldn't pre-approve me wow and i make you know i make decent money but i guess i haven't been working long enough for them to say that they trust that because i'm fresh out of graduate school and um they just they were like you haven't worked you know at your company for two years yet and your first credit card was less than it was uh, just a year ago i got my first credit card in may of last year can i ask you so can i ask you a silly question when when did when did you graduate uh, graduate school uh 2019 okay because it's too okay because oftentimes it it uh, it was august or december of 2019 um, yeah, typically most manufacturers have a, a, a college graduate program, uh, whether mm-hmm. it be just, you know, a four year school or postgraduate work, I, but, but yeah. it has to be within a year of when you graduated. Yeah. I asked and they told me that it didn't qualify on this vehicle, but it was supposed to be good for two years when they first asked me, they said, did you graduate in two years? And I said, yeah. And, um, they, they did go to bat for me, getting the approval, and then they, they, they started with me at like 9.7-something uh, percent, and I got them down to 8%. Okay. Okay, that's good that yeah. you got them down. That's, that's good to hear. Yeah, so I got them to go down to 8%. I also got them to throw in a trailer hitch, and, um, which wasn't on the car, and, um, and I got out the door um, for everything, just like he said, 33650 Um Tax, tax, title, whole nine yards. Good job. So, Good. I think that does deserve the right chef. Under MSRP? Yeah. 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 That's impressive. In, in yeah, today's world? MSRP. Yeah. Yeah. All Look right, at you. Right, Congratulations. Right, and then let's talk about this loan situation, though, just for a second, because okay. I think it's really important. And, that you know, there's people on the stream that would probably be learning a lot from this. 
you can refinance auto loans. Yeah. And so as you, yeah. the, the, the term is thin, thin file, right? That's yes. what Jonathan, yes. Jonathan has a thin file. Yes. So do I, right? Like just if you're younger and you don't have a lot of credit history, you have a thin file. Yes. Well, as your file gets thicker. Yes. Refinance. Um, yes. But you know, it's going to take time to, but to, it could be a year from now and it still yes. could save you a lot yes. of money. Yes, absolutely. It's, you know, when when if if somebody's twenty eight and even if they make good money, if they really haven't had a lot of credit history for a lender to go, yeah, I'll take a risk on him. Um, if they're going to take the risk, they're going to take the risk at a higher rate because there is more risk. What's your um? It's willingness, stability, ability, stability, and willingness. Ability, does he have the ability to pay back a car loan? Um, stability, how long has he been doing what he's been doing? Um, and willingness, which is one of the most important how much aspects cash of down. it, is, is how you've handled your previous oh, credit great. obligations. Thank you. And if okay. if the only thing you ever had is one credit card, that's that really doesn't show a whole heck of a lot of willingness. Um, you know, what they're looking for is how you... Well, handled. I got three. Okay. Yeah, I got three, and I and I and I bought a laptop on one and paid it off immediately. Um, and then the other ones, I just get groceries on and pay it off the same day that I buy. You know, as soon as it hits, you know, that I can pay it off. Mm -hmm. But um, they're just not not big limits. But I am definitely one hundred percent going to refinance after three months um, and have some proven payments. I'm going to try to refinance and get that down to like four and a half percent or three yeah, percent it's it's, it's 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 yeah it would be worth it you might have to go a little longer than three months but you can certainly try it after three months um it, they they might not think that's that's shows enough history to to want to pay it off that quickly but it, it's worth taking a shot at three months and jonathan you've brought some uh some good energy to the show you you convinced mike uh to donate ten dollars Best commuter cars when I make thirty k a year. Do you recommend Craigslist or dealership or fine? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna address that for Mike in a second here. But Jonathan, call back in in three months and let us know what's happening on that loan front because uh, you got a good job. You did yeah. a good job purchasing it. Let's, yes, uh, let's make so it even better. Considering the market, do you think that's a bad price for the car? Did I leave money on the table? Did I? Did I? Did it doesn't sound like you left money on the table in today's market. I, I think you did a, 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 an admirable job. Yeah, we'd have to run the market price reports and honestly, just like you did, right? Contact multiple yeah. dealerships. But it sounds like to get under MSRP, no, that seems that seems yeah, very seems very like you've fair. done well. I, I beat the auto advocate at uh, the fair price that was on there. Well, so uh, if I'm getting the stamp, then I'm I, I'm excited. Give him the uh, stamp again. Definitely getting some coaching from Zach. Definitely. Uh, I get it from my dad. Mind. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, I, I I got some some coaching from you earlier this week zach it definitely you know let me like reframe like okay you know with realistically where my budget was at how far i could kind of get them down on something that had maybe a little bit more bells and whistles on it but also you know i told you hey this is what i can afford and this is what i can do and, and it really just reframed okay go get the best deal you can get on that one then don't don't try to stretch yourself for for the bells and whistles when you know you can kind of get some of those same things anyways and I'm glad to throw in the trailer hitch for free. Which yeah, have been, that, that, that you sounds know, wonderful. Seven hundred dollar package. So, Jonathan, yeah, good. Uh, final question for you: You think it was money well spent on our end working with us? Oh, one hundred. I mean, I clearly, I, I think I saved probably like three grand. So, yeah, I mean, I think the just the don't cancel your membership. Just don't cancel it. No, no, no. Just let it run. Just let it run. Good night, Jonathan. Thanks. So much. <laughs> hey, man. Thanks so much. It's awesome. Awesome knowing we helped. Thanks, Jonathan. Thank Have a great night. Enjoy the uh, enjoy your new vehicle. I'm speaking to you through it right now. It's the first time I've ever had Bluetooth in a car, so this is awesome. It sounds great. Sounds damn good. Yeah. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. Yeah, bye-bye. Yeah, look at that. All right, Pops. We had a couple donations okay, come through. Okay, can we put it on Do Not Disturb for a minute? It is. I want my ears to breathe. Oh, yeah, my ears are low. Yeah. Okay, Pop, so we've got you know, Mike. It would probably be cooler for you. It feels great are... in here now, and everyone got to watch the sunset, too, yeah, which is very beautiful. beautiful yeah. Um, okay, best commuter cars when I make 30 k a year. Do yeah. you recommend Craigslist or dealerships for buying? People I know say Craigslist is sketchy. Thanks. So 30 k a year, if that's your annual take-home or your annual income, you're going to be really limited on, on your options. You have back on the website, Dad. I do. <laughs> you love it when I... Yes. Um. What was it? It was how much? Yeah. Should I spend for a car? Yeah. So, Mike, I think our recommendation... Yeah, it's we did no a podcast than, yeah. episode on this, and then we did... Um, we have this article, How Much Should You Spend? So I'll post this for you, Mike. 
And then pops what goes through my head is regardless if it's Craigslist or dealership. It didn't take. It did. Oh, it regardless didn't. if it's Craigslist or dealership. Yeah. Pre-purchase inspection. Oh, which, absolutely. Which on that, when you have that amount of money to work with, is going to seem like a ton to spend. Mm-hmm. But it's worth it if you know. The last thing you want to do is buy something that completely breaks down two weeks oh, later. Oh yeah, no, and and I, I I don't know. I I guess there's lots of people that sell cars on Craigslist. I just if you're gonna go buy a car from somebody on Craigslist, make sure it's their car to sell. Make sure they have a title. Make sure there's no lien on it. Make sure they have the lien release if there had been a lien. Um, and you're looking at, unfortunately. In this market, yeah, some really used cars because you're yes. probably, I mean, like, yes. we're talking like really used. Let yes. me turn the AC off, there's no reason Why? to have it on. Um, and then we had another donate, Mike. I hope that helps. Yeah, we had another donation come in, Pops from Neo. Do you Neo. mind answering that? Yeah, Ooh. is there a way to refi your car if it's now appearing on your credit report due to the lawyer not signing a reaffirmation agreement with a chapter seven? Um, well, if, if you're presently in a, in a bankruptcy, um, you would need, you would need a letter from, uh, the, your, your either bankruptcy, uh, judge or whoever stating that it's okay for you to enter into another, um, loan agreement without that. You can't do anything. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. I meant to say it's not appearing on my report. What's not appearing? The, the chapter seven uh, the bankruptcy. Oh, that's odd. When did you? When it did, will soon. Yeah. When did you enter into your your chapter seven? Well, you're asking that question. Marky yes. Mark posted in the chat a VIN from yeah. Auto Lenders. So yeah. let's actually take a peek back. Auto Lenders is a uh, local. Uh, yeah, they're here. They're here in our area. But let's see yeah. what's going on there. Maybe yeah. we can help Marky Mark out. Then we'll open yeah. the phone lines back up because my ears are feeling yeah, great. Oh my God, my my ears were schwitzing. <laughs> see, it's not yeah. just me. Yeah. So Auto Lenders, they've got this used 2015 Lexus CT. Let's see, low negotiability score. Well, yeah. It's because there's only five, five of the them air. in the area. Yeah. Marky Mark, take a peek at this. Oh my gosh, it's got so 70, many more 60, miles yeah, on yeah, it though. Yeah, yeah. And it's a hatchback. Yeah. Yeah. Um, email templates. Request the OTD. Except actually, I think Auto Lenders, if I'm not mistaken, is, might be a one a, price. I believe they are. So, what's the process here to see if this is a good deal? I, I would go to a black book on our website. That we pay thousands of dollars for so we can access it and so we can get some semblance of uh, of, of what the value might be. And, and then, of course, you could then go to Carvana and whatnot yes, as well. Yes, yes. But only <laughs> after. But only after you utilize our <laughs> stuff. This is pretty neat, though. Yeah, look at that. Retail is uh, between seventeen four and, and 21000 and they're at nineteen nine ninety five. so... So maybe there's and a, a and and you know being a thirty two thousand mile car I mean that's really low miles for a for twenty fifteen yeah 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 so it probably justifies yeah. pre purchase inspection yeah. go from there yeah man look at that sunset behind us pops I can't oh yeah Mike Malone yeah. asked the question black book yeah um, so Mike at all um, black book we did a bunch of stuff on valuations back on the website. Um, there are all sorts of different book values. Do you want to speak about that real quick, perhaps? Uh, well, there's you know there's a lot of books, but the one most dealers use is Black Book. That's, and MMR is the other yeah, one. Yes. And so, Black Book is is the uh, is the guide that most dealerships use. Uh, MMR is. Uh, uh, Neo, you don't have to give us money every time you ask a question. Damn it! No wonder you're bankrupt. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, <laughs> Black Book's what dealers use. We partner with them. You can get Black Book values back um, in your Auto Advocate. You just click on Value My Trade. Neo, all right, we got to keep helping Neo. Here, okay, Pops. wait. Okay, the trade line is not showing after a discharge, but I didn't want to include it in the bankruptcy. Now I can. Now I can get a lender. Lawyer never signed it. Um, well, if you, so the bankruptcy's been discharged, and you carried the loan through the bankruptcy. Um, you know that that should uh, that should be worth something to a new lender when when they're looking at whether or not they should approve you for another car loan. Just it's your your first car loan coming out of a bankruptcy is going to have to be with some substantial cash down uh, to show that uh, you're willing to participate. 
Yeah. Um, Ken says sunsets are free on YAA. Absolutely, they are. G yeah. Zimmer, the black book, though, that ain't free. Yeah. But um, uh, G Zimmer said limited inventory of new model 2022 Kia Carnival. How to negotiate when dealers won't budge off MSRP and some dealers adding market adjustment? Uh, I guess you'd say, hey, I'll be more than happy to pay you MSRP, but I won't pay for your market adjustment. And, and you have to understand that it's, that it's a new vehicle. And, and if that's what you want and there's a limited supply, you're going to have to pay. And that's what you just said. If that's what you want, then yeah. that's like it's yeah. resetting expectations. Yes. Selena, let's give Selena yeah. a quick little stamp of approval. Okay. She said, there are still a few dealerships willing to negotiate. Took emailing dealers all across Florida, but picked up my Highlander Platinum all-wheel drive today. 10% off MSRP. Use those email templates. Way to go, Selena. Selena, that is awesome. Yes. And to demonstrate... When you run a market price report, so we'll do like this Ford Escape for, uh, was it Jonathan or Greg who called in earlier? Email templates, request the out the door price. Yes. If we have the dealer's contact information, we give it to you right here. Here's the email template that my dad wrote. Yes, I actually really did write him. Shotgun that thing out, go down to the similar vehicles yeah. table, check all the other similar vehicles, do what Selena did. That is awesome to hear because it's like really hard to find people that are able to negotiate deals, but that's an example of one. Yeah. Nice. Is there a three-month wait time on a dealer warranty? Speed and power. Uh, I'm not sure what, what speed and power means by that. I mean, to cancel it or to buy it or to... I mean, there's there's just way too many variables in that in that question. Yes. Um, Ken would like to know if he can get a Dam Ray seal tonight. Thank you. Yes, absolutely, um, Ken. Does. Ken, you it, get confetti. Can, Oh, come on, give him a stamp of approval. And a stamp of approval. Yeah, Ken, Ken's the man. Ken's yeah, absolutely the man. Ken, Ken Can't wait to both. He really does. Yeah. Eclipse GTS 1. I'm in the Los Angeles area uh, and buy a 2022 Hyundai Tucson limited hybrid. They are slowly coming into dealerships, and so should I wait or what is best? I think you just answered your own question. You know if they're slowly coming into the dealerships, and there's not a lot of them, then they're going to be charging all the money for them. So if you can wait, it might pay to wait. Um, it just depends on what the availability is going to be. And I guess you could ask the dealerships what their allocations look like moving forward for that vehicle. I wonder if there's any way that we can support in this, if, there, if we can contact the manufacturers and try and understand what... No, I don't know. Like, just what vehicles are there actually going to be inventory and in, in lots of... I don't think I don't think Hyundai or Kia yeah, no one will Ford tell us. or GM is 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 going to share that information. You know what with I'm us. getting at, though. You it's know, like be, you know because we're just <laughs> so large. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah, I tried, yeah. but I you tried. can ask. <laughs> Maybe I'll send an yeah, email. Send an email. Yeah. yeah. What's the worst that can happen? They ignore it. Okay. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Damn it, Ken! No, no, <laughs> Ken! No, because we owe you. We owe yeah. you dinner. We yeah. owe you uh, lunch. Yeah. Do you know what I'm having later? Thank you very much, yeah, Ken. Thank you, Ken. You know what I'm having later to celebrate Ken's donations? Huh. Uh, some blueberry pie. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. yeah. That's dinner. I'm afraid. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You don't think that makes a good dinner at, say, 9.15 or so? Uh, yeah. 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 Good. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Why don't we... Um, I don't know. Why don't we? Why don't we open up to the phone lines? Oh, okie dokie. <laughs> Oh my! Um, the chat is fantastic. All what, right, let's open up the what, phone what's lines. It it's just it, I love the community. Yeah, and I just yeah. Let's see. Phone lines are open though. Eight five five. Pops is reading. Five eight seven two eight eight six. That's eight five 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 eight seven two eight eight six. Ella Taylor's, don't you dare call collect. It would help if I took it off. Do not disturb. Oh well, no. There we go. Also, while we're yeah. showing that, waiting for a phone call to come in. Ten yes. days, ten ways to save this Memorial Day. Ten nights of live streams, all free. Here to help. Join yes. us. Yes, join us. Join us. Be there every night. Don't leave us high and dry. Be there every night for 10 days you're on with your auto advocate please please interject on my father what's your name where are you from what can we do to help name's adrian long time listener first time caller adrian welcome and that gets the long time listener first time caller slap of approval <laughs> hey adrian what can we do to help <laughs> i was just calling with some curiosity about uh how quickly dealers will post photos of trade-ins. I've been seeing photos of cars with like soda cans and the seeds. 
you know, dirty floor mats. They're not even cleaning them anymore. Is this a regular practice or is this just now? Uh, I think it's just now, you know, in, in, in normal times where there's normal inventory, um, you know, they actually, I don't know, run the cars through the shop, recondition them, get them detailed, then send their guy out to take pictures and post them uh, online. Um, but today with inventory being as short as it is, I guess they're going, you know, they might even start taking pictures while the guy's taking his paperwork out of the trade for all I know. Um, but they want, they want to get them online as quickly as they can. I see. Yeah. All right, and then my next question would be like, Ray, what's the quickest you ever sold a car that was traded in? You ever sold one that day? That's um, a great question. That is a great question. Um, you know, I, I'm, yeah, there there have been times where we've traded like a really really nice car, and we knew that we would have somebody interested in that car. And we, maybe we traded it on a Saturday morning, ran it through the shop right away, and we called a prospective buyer to come in, and 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 they took it right away. But it doesn't happen often. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And then I guess my last question, because I don't want to hold up the line. Well, you're allowed three, Um, Adrian. (laughs) You guys are like genies, huh? Yeah. (laughs) Well, maybe for you, you can have four. My last question would be, um, what's the longest you ever held on to a trade-in? Like waiting for it to sell, knowing it was a good car, but it just didn't happen. You had to end up sending it to the auction. Okay, I don't know how to how to say this nicely, but I worked for some people who their aging policy for used cars was they're like a fine wine. They get better with age. And, <laughs> and so there were some cars that celebrated birthdays. Not one, maybe two. Okay, so they sat on the lot for two years because the gentleman that I worked for believed that in time, that will be the only one out there that somebody's looking for, and they'll just have to buy it for us for what we're asking for it. Um, well, so well, did I, that owner, I guess this is the fourth question, I'm not yeah. really allowed to, but did that owner own it outright, or was he floor playing? Oh, no, no, he owned his, his used car inventory outright. And I used to say to myself, you know, the way I was taught in the business is that you you actually have an aging policy and you get rid of them 60 or 90 days old. Um, and right, and right. his policy was literally just hold them until you sell them. And and I, I kept thinking to myself, well, if if the, my way of doing it is right, then why isn't he working for me? Uh, so, gotcha. Gotcha. you know, he... he, yeah, listen, he I just want to thank you guys for what you're doing. You guys are doing awesome work in the community. Well, hey, we're, we're Adrian, trying, Adrian. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. All right. Take I hope care. You guys have a great night. You too. See ya. Hey, I'm going to have a great night. There's right. there's blueberry pie in my future. Pops, we got to uh, we'll keep the phone lines closed for a yeah. second here. Dylan Alfred. Yeah. Thank you very much for the $5 donation. Yes. Dylan says, I started a Mazda dealership next week. Uh, Wish me luck. Uh, okay. To, you're going to need more than luck, my friend. You're going to need thick skin. Um, love the tools and consumer advocacy, guys. Yes. Any general opinion on newer Mazda products? Well, I happen to be a Mazda fan. Don't ask me why. I just am. You know. Well, it's because you like Scotty Kilmer. Oh, stop. <laughs> Uh, I'm a Mazda fan because, well, we owned a Mazda. I've always thought that, that Mazda makes a, a very decent car, and there's, they give you a lot of bang for their buck. Yeah, um, kind of, for the uh, uh, price point, they're really yeah, luxurious. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah, I mean, they, they really do a nice job with the car. Um, you, you know, so um, I, I think you're going to be representing a, a wonderful product, and because of that, it'll make it a little easier to sell. Um you know, but it's 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 the car business, and it depends on the dealership where you're working and how they treat the their employees. But between uh, how customers sometimes can treat employees and how sales managers can treat employees, it it can be uh, difficult at best. Um, but I do wish you luck. If if it turns out that you really really like the business and it gets in your blood and it does for a lot of people, you'll you'll never be able to get out of it. Um, and you'll be able to make a nice living and hopefully advance your career and, and move up into management and, and, and hopefully, um, you know, become the kind of manager that you would want to work for that that's going to treat not only his... Pops, you got it. We got a $50 donation, so I'm not, I'm not trying to, you know, tell you that we got to, you know, but... Well, I... If you go there, there, if, there if you, you go at this length... I, I can't, I can't, I can't finish my thoughts, so it's whatever. <laughs> there you have it. 
<laughs> oh, I pissed him off. Well, yeah, you stopped me in the middle. I don't remember where the hell I was going. But <laughs> I, I got the sense you didn't know where you were going. It's okay. It's only your team. You were thinking about the blueberry pie. I wasn't, but that's besides the point. Mommy and John do everything. Yeah. Thank you for the $10 donation. Thank you. Thank you very much. Why does the MPG vary on the manufacturer website from what my local dealer is saying? On a Hyundai Tucson, it's 33 miles per gallon. On Hyundai, showing 24 miles per gallon on my local dealer. Well, it's, it'll be on the Monroney label, and that is and that is from the computations that the government has done, and they're the ones who establish what the uh, what the mileage is and you have to know that one is city and one is highway and so that might be the difference in what you're you're seeing um and so there that makes sense yeah this is really awesome from lumberbuck 50 bucks thank you lumberbuck thank you confetti time lots of confetti thank you to everyone who has donated this is very very thoughtful though thank you for helping me get the best deal i could have ever imagined at this horrible time to buy a car you deserve more but i'm not budging learning that from ray (laughs) i will try to call in tonight and tell you my story if i'm lucky you guys rock well thank you so much lumberbuck that uh, we're glad that we could help and and we're very appreciative of of your uh, donation tonight yes thank you that that really means a lot yeah sorry for cutting you off before that was If you were, you wouldn't have done it. You you wanted to get Lumberbuck in there. And... No, I just apologized. I okay, meant to genuinely. It. Do, yeah. you, do we need to have a talk afterwards? Perhaps or? during my uh, blueberry pie. Yeah. Well, I'll leave, but yeah. I meant okay. that genuinely. Okay, cool. I really did. Okay. I'll accept your apology. Thank you, Pops. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, shall we open up the phone lines and see if Lumberbuck calls back in? Calls oh, in? Wait, what was that? What was that about Steve Richards? Skyler wants us to fight. <laughs> no, we're not going to fight. <laughs> Both of us are. You know how you could be a fight or flight type person? Yeah. Yeah, we're both flight. Like, neither of us fight. We're good. We just, yeah. like... Yeah. Just, um, my son can be a pain in the ass at times, but that's 100%, okay. percent and everyone. And I, so can I. But that's why I apologize, right? Like, yeah. you acknowledge it. Yeah. I realize that it was rude to cut you off. Yeah. I read the comments. I know. You, know, like, you don't pay attention to them, but you read them. Okay, like that was a little bit rude as well. Sorry, but you're just I apologize. You're, you're blowing off the steam, so that's okay. Um, yeah, but yeah, I get it. You allowed me to apologize for being so rude. I, I, I mean it. Thank you. I'm sorry, it's okay. No, yeah. I, we, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> it's but all good. It was, it was, it was well worth it. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm glad you feel better. Yeah. Let's open up the phone lines back. Yeah, I want to see if Lumberbuck calls in or Lumberluck, Lumber, Lumberbuck, Lumber Truck. Oh, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> will uh, modifying a vehicle lifting it oh yes that will affect resale value correct yes there we it go depends depends on will, the job uh, done. A if you don't mind muting us in the background you're on with your auto advocate what's your name where are you from what can we do to help yeah hi this is craig calling from wisconsin hi craig how are you tonight doing great good uh, first time first time caller Oh. Say it, say it, say I, it. I just found you guys about a week ago. Oh, uh, then you're not a long time. Ago. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was I was getting ready to high five myself. First time caller. Now that's that's good enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, I want. Uh, I'm looking for a new Silverado for my wife. She has one to trade in and everything. And, okay. You know, obviously, everything's crazy out there. Yes. But uh, I just want to get your take. Um, I'm hearing that the factories have all kinds of vehicles backed up on the lots. You know, and stuff like that. And do you see like the dealerships being flooded with these new vehicles when these chips break free and perhaps well, prices drop? Or you know, how do you think this is going to work? Uh, well, you know, who who knows when they're actually going to get the chips so that they can uh, actually complete the production of these vehicles? The the real concern to me, more than anything, is the fact that these cars are just sitting and not moving. Uh, and they, and my guess is that they'll be sitting there for months on end. Now, vehicles don't do well um, if they just sit for a long, long time. And trust me, they're not sending out employees, I don't know, to go start them every other day so that the batteries don't go dead. Um, and, and they're not sending people out there to go drive them so that they don't get flat spots in the tires. So um, my suspicion is that at some point, they're going to realize all these issues and and GM and all the others are going to have to spend more money replacing batteries and replacing tires before they send them to the dealers. So they, they, they might not be arriving in massive truckloads once they actually start getting the chips. 
Okay, that, and then uh, one, one more quick question. Sure. Do you think with, with the used car prices being so high right now, do you think it'd be a good idea to just uh, go ahead and just sell sell a vehicle, seeing that we have another one as a backup, you know, the one that we were planning on trading in? Yes. Just get rid of it now while prices are high, and then, you know, hope that in the future when this stuff all breaks free that they're going to be given good deals? Yes. I, I, you're, you, the, 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 that's the one saving grace of what's going on right now is, is um, there are large corporations out there CarMax, Carvana, Vroom, Shift, that are paying all the money and more to get used car inventory. And this is one of the few times in your lifetime that you're ever going to see an automobile become an appreciating asset. Um, and so you don't, you don't get very many opportunities to take advantage of that. And this is one of those opportunities. Okay. All right. Well, I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Well, thank you. I'll keep you. watching. Okay, and and uh, say hi to all my Aaron Roger friends in the, in the Green Bay. Oh, uh, we're mad at him right now. I know you are. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you know what? You won't be much of a team without him. Oh, <laughs> you're right. You're absolutely right. Maybe Brett Favre will come out of retirement. Oh, uh, God. Yeah, he could probably still sling it pretty good. <laughs> hey, thanks for calling in. Okay, thanks, guys. Yeah, bye. See bye, bye. Dial Delaney's in the house, Pops. Ah, uh, Dial, how are you? Yes, yes, yes. Skyler mm -hmm. says it takes four to six months under normal circumstances to get a semiconductor chip from plant production to end product vehicle. Wow. Well, so even once these things are ready to go. Yeah, then they got to get them installed. It's going to be. That'll be the, the first time these cars move in four to six months or more. Hey, you're on with your auto advocate. What's your name? Where are you from? What can we do to help? Hey guys, uh, this is Sean. I've uh, listened for about two weeks now, and man, I think I've binge watched every single video that you guys probably have by now. <laughs> oh my uh, God, Sean, you need to get a life. My dad, dad, well, dad. you know, it, it's one of those things. I'm uh, I, I work a job where I'm constantly sitting in my car waiting for other people to do stuff, so it's been it's been nice. But okay, I, uh, I got a personal car that just uh, recently died. It was an 06 Commander, um, and I've got a work car that I get to drive every day, so I don't I haven't even. That car has less than 100,000 miles on it, the 06 Commander that wow. uh, died out. Um, so I've been binge-watching your guys' stuff to try and find some cars, but unfortunately I know how to buy cars in Massachusetts. Buying cars in Oklahoma, where I was just forced to move thanks to Uncle Sam, is a completely different nature because what you guys are talking about of trying to negotiate dock fees or no uh, negotiate uh, the transportation or destination fees, stuff like that, the dealerships out here won't budge. Wow. They won't negotiate those. Those are hard set. And then uh, trying to buy a new or a used car, obviously, like you guys have said, is uh, nearly impossible. So I, I was at multiple dealerships today just trying to negotiate anything, and they're, they're not budging. So I've tried to special order um, a Jeep Cherokee 2021 Latitude at its base model with no extra fixings beyond a – a backup camera and a, and a Bluetooth connectivity, and they still wanted uh, twenty nine three sixty at the dealer invoice. Wow! Um, and then they they said rebate down to two thousand, so they offered me twenty seven three sixty. Um, but then the you know tax rate and then their dock fee that they wouldn't budge on, which yeah. is almost five hundred dollars. They they're they're trying to screw me out the ass in Oklahoma. Well, I'm you should you should you guys... be thankful you're not in Florida, my friend, because the dock fee could be as much as a thousand dollars there. I do, I do just yeah. want to comment really quickly, like Massachusetts to Oklahoma, we just drove cross country. Yes. you can see how the franchise dealer model ship works really well in those kind of more broader spaced areas. When you got more room, you can have a, a little monopoly. Mm in that yeah. area and yes. so then you don't have to have as much competition you know yes, so there isn't as much competition yeah, yes. it, it, that's where the model works yeah. best for the dealers yeah oh, absolutely and then what's even more that the the there have been so many bad storms in oklahoma recently there was a really bad hail storm a few months ago that totaled nearly most of the dealerships out here's vehicles wow. um, because the hail was so bad that now most of the lots even the big time players that'll usually have a thousand cars in their lot um, only have about 300. You know, they're working at 30% of their normal capacity, which means um, they're not giving stuff away. It's yeah. unfortunate. Yeah. Yeah. So my, my question to you guys was, my family still lives up in the in the New England area. I'm wondering if you guys think it might be a better idea to say, 
you know, screw all the Oklahoma additional fees and, and possibly buy a car Oof. in one of those states and take a cross country trip or maybe even go down to Texas. I, I really haven't researched mm. what Texas is. Uh, prices are, but trying to buy a car in a different state and then bring it. Well, you can, you can certainly shop in different states and, and do it by getting an out the door number. Um, so that yeah. way you can compare all the fees and you can figure out whether it's cheaper to buy it in Massachusetts or Vermont or New Hampshire or Rhode Island or Texas or Idaho, wherever it is. But, you know, once you once you have an out the door number, that gives you a a, a much better understanding as to uh, comparative pricing. Yeah, no, that's a, that's a, a very good thing. Uh, on on a side note, I was uh, I was throwing out out the door number and uh, some other you know buy rate sell rate some some good solid vocab words to some salesmen today, and I was making their head spin. They had no <laughs> idea, like they were they had no idea what I was talking about. And my uh, my background is in training interrogation tactics. I used to be a behavioral scientist, so I was I was schooling these guys all day with the information that you guys gave me. And, Man, they still wouldn't budge just because I don't think they can with their margins. Wow. Well, I yeah. wish you luck. I, I, I think I think I would try uh, getting the comparative out the door prices from the New England area, and uh, you know maybe reach out to a couple states uh, in either direction of Oklahoma. No, I, I, I greatly appreciate it, and, and I'm glad that uh, I, I guess I get some of that wisdom from you guys. So uh, I hope you guys have a great night. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Sure, you do Sean. the same. Right, bye bye now. Take the headphones off, Pops. We got a donation to acknowledge. And also, just want to mention... Sweaty uh, ears. Yeah. <laughs> just want to mention we have back on the website the yeah. out-the-door price estimator. So yes. you just go tools, out-the-door price estimator. And then if you sign up, yeah. which is free, yeah. um, you can get the out-the-door price calculator for the particular vehicle mm -hmm. that you're looking at right here as well. Okay. Um, cool. And so one of the things that was going through my head with Sean is... yes. This is a perfect example of using the email templates yeah. to shotgun out to, yeah. you know, the Massachusetts dealers and see what can happen there and yeah. so on and so forth. Polyglox yes. says, looking at a 2018 Lexus ES350, and thank you, Polyglox, for yes. the $5 donation. Yes, thank you. With 30,000 miles for $32,000. Also have a 13 center with 70,000 miles to trade in. Should I wait? Thanks for all you do. Should you wait? I think it's going to get worse. So... That, that's just my personal feeling. I, I think the shortages are going to continue um, for quite some time. Um, and as shortages continue and, and supply dries up and demand uh, continues to move upward, that the prices are going to do the same. So um, it's a bad time to buy a car now. I think it'll be a worse time to buy a car next month and it might be worse uh, in July. Um, so if you can find something that makes sense to you financially today, it's probably better to do it today than it would be to wait uh, even a couple weeks. You know, it's interesting because, and we get this question from a lot of people, should yeah. I do now, should I wait? Yeah. If you're doing the trade-in and the purchase, it kind of balances out. out. Yes. That's kind of what was going through yes. my head. See some comments and some questions people asking about buying a car out of state based yes. on Sean's question. This yes. is a guide from over a year ago now. Um, well, how to buy a well car. over a year how to buy a car from out of state. Let me put this back in the chat. Bye. Mm -hmm. uh, can I just, are we smashing the like button people? I have <laughs> um, no idea. I have no clue either. Yeah. I can't see it. Yeah. Um, and then one thing with Massachusetts in particular, yeah. they don't have drive out tags. No. So it has to be titled and registered before you can actually take delivery. Yeah. 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 Do you suggest waiting until fall or winter? <laughs> Probably not. Yeah. We're, I, you we're know, looking I, at like fall or winter or next year potentially. I, you know, every every week we keep seeing more dire predictions in regards to the chip shortage uh, that doesn't exist. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's kidding. <laughs> um, and and so it, it's it's hard to say. I mean, you know, w when this all started, everybody's going, okay, this will be short lived, but it's not going to be short lived. Um, no, let's set good expectations. This you're looking at if you think you're going to get significantly off of msrp on a new vehicle you're going to have to be like selena who called yes. her, you're going to have to or like sean you're going to contact dozens of dealers yes and you're going to get a hell of a deal yes but if you want that you don't want to work too terribly hard yeah do it in a year yes I'll, i i subscribe to that theory and sell mm -hmm. your if you got a used car that you can just sell 
Yeah. So yeah, you know what? We're getting closer and closer to blueberry pie, buddy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I told you I could sense it was on your mind. <laughs> All right, let's open up the phone lines yeah. again. Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably have agita when I try to sleep today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you're going to eat half of a blueberry pie. 855-587-2886. This is the, uh, the most people we've ever had on a stream before. Thank you to everyone that has joined us. It means a lot to us. If you would like to join future streams, we're doing the uh, 10 days and 10 ways to save. So please sign up for that. Oh, my God. Everybody's calling in at the same time. I mean, that's how it works. Shoot. We don't have a queuing system. Well, you're we, on. You know, maybe we need to do that. <laughs> With your auto advocate, what's your name? Where are you from? What can we do to help? Hey, uh, my name is Max. I'm from Connecticut. Max hey, from Connecticut. How are you tonight? I'm doing well. How are you? We are We are great. We're getting, well, at least one of us is getting closer and closer to his blueberry pie. Yeah, we should quiz people where they call. Max wants yeah. to know how we're doing. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Max should know. You want your blueberry pie. Yeah. I had a hot flash earlier. Yeah. Right? I mean, yeah. Come on, Max. Yeah, yeah pay attention. <laughs> no, okay. <kidding. laughs> how can we help you? So, it's, so I actually have a little situation here. I'm trying to get rid of my car. And I've been looking into getting into something new. It's actually a Camaro SS, and I, I drive a Dodge Charger RT with okay. a 5.7 liter V8. My private sale value is around like 26 grand. Uh huh. Trade in, looking at about 20 grand. Uh huh. And the used car market on on this spec Camaro that I'm looking at is ridiculous. It's yes. Like it's selling for over MSRP. Used, so I'm not sure what I should do because I want to get a car like ASAP but I I feel like I don't know if I could I should wait or if the wait's gonna be worth it like just don't know what to do uh, well uh, we, we've we've said it a number of times tonight I don't think things are going to be getting any better anytime soon so I'm not sure waiting is going to resolve the issue for for you when it comes to pricing on on the new vehicle um one of the things I would do, other than using our Black Book value tool on our website, is I would run your car through uh, Carvana and CarMax and Vroom and see what kind of offer you might be able to get from them. Did he, Max, I thought you mentioned you have a private party sale, though, right? Or did I miss here? Yeah, I mean, I've, I've ran my car on all those sites, and they all got back to numbers that I didn't like. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, and I know that there's we, inventory shortages because I work for a dealership. Okay. Yeah, I'm a salesman now. So oh, well, then you know, know the answer. Come on, Why are you Max, doing come this, Max? Come on, Max. Come, come on, man. I'm, I'm literally on both sides of the fence. That's hilarious. Okay, so so let me ask you a question. If, if Max, a customer walked in, what would you do to convince them that now's as good a time as any to buy that damn Camaro SS? I would, con well, the answer is it's always the right time to buy a car. Yeah, but how would you convince them? What would you say to convince them? And then once you've said it to yourself, go buy the damn car. <laughs> I mean, it all just comes down to emotional attachment. Okay. How bad do you want it? Pretty bad. Then do it. <laughs> Come on, man. Max, thank you for calling in. Let us know how it goes. That was I like, fantastic. I like what Coda the dog said. Max should sell fences. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Come on, man. Hey. If you want the car, buy the damn car. Stop it. All right. Bobby. Okay. Thank you guys. Thanks, okay, Max. Max. See ya. <laughs> Oh my God! Yeah, what do you think's gonna happen? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'm in the business. Well, you know what the hell's going on. <laughs> oh, that was fantastic. You're funny, Dad. Yes. You're on with your auto advocate. What's your name? Where are you from? What can we do to help? Hey, this is Lumberbuck. How you all doing? Lumberbuck, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> I, you, you know, I'm no schmuck. I give you back a little bit more than everybody else because you saved me thousands. Well, bless hey. your heart. Tell us about the yeah, story. Tell us, thank tell you, us the thank story. You, thank you, thank you, of course. But tell us the story. I, I know how much time we got. I don't want to make it too long and boring, but I'm going to tell you this. I'm a salesman, but not in cars. Okay. That's a different world that I, what I sell. I sell lumber. Okay. okay. But um, the car thing is, is kind of... Uh, you know, hard to get your head around and start negotiating. And then the chip thing came in and I started following you guys about a month ago. 
And so, you know, it's getting kind of antsy, but we, we really wanted to get a, an upgrade on a car. So we went to a you know, dealership and found a car we liked. Um, it, was, it was high price. They're, they're asking too much. Mm-hmm. So I started shopping different uh, markets within maybe 500 miles because I can, I, can, I can do that. And uh, what I ended up doing with these guys is I, I came up with a reasonable price. They were playing this game where they were giving you a bunch more money for your trade than it's worth. Mm-hmm. So the, the out the door price that you gave me, Ray, on your uh, auto advocate, your auto advocate website, you know, was a good uh, indicator. But you said, you know, the likelihood was like ten percent will okay. move because it's only been in the market like fifteen days. Gotcha. So bottom line was, I looked at other markets and they're kind of normally priced. You know, let's say thirty-four thousand. Mm-hmm. I said, you know, they'll probably give me with the with the market. They'll give me two grand for real. You know, off that uh, even Kelly Blue Book type of parameters. And uh, so I was well prepared for these guys, and I, I made him a low offer. Mm-hmm. We went down, and sat down. He kept bringing his manager out, and I kept, you know, say, hey, you know, can you work with us halfway? I showed him all the cars I was looking at on Auto Trader. CarMax, or, you know, not CarMax, uh, Cars.com, uh-huh. uh, true, true Car, using this as leverage, saying, look, you know, I'm willing to go get these, but I use, Ray, I use your line. You want me to be, and these are all certified uh, pre-owned Kias. Gotcha. I said, you want me to be your customer. You don't want me to come bring it here to service. And they were just floored when I, when I gave them that line. I don't think they've ever heard that. And so that kind of swung it my way. Then Good. we got into the F and I office. They, you know, they, they agreed to my price, and then uh, we negotiated the interest rate. I was, pre- you know, prepared for that. Uh, which again, preparation, like you said, do the research, have it all in front of you. Mm-hmm. Um, Dad gave me so much confidence. I mean, he came back one time, and uh, the last time for negotiation, he said, "I'm going to have to bring my general manager out here." And I picked up my keys, and I said, my keys might be in a different state if you bring them out. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> you said, I found remember that story you told about the car key? Uh-huh. You know, they're like, you lost them in the house, and they're right here. Yes. And that, that just, for, he said, hey, are you in the business? <laughs> and I said, no. But I said, I have, a, I have an auto advocate. And I didn't tell him, you know, you, I, said, I have an auto advocate. Wow. And so they were... I was dealing from strength rather than weakness and or emotion and unpreparedness. Um, and your your girl that you have on too, she Kimberly. is Kimberly. Yes, she is Kimberly. Yeah, she's she's absolutely wonderful. So I got in the F and I office. I, I negotiated my rate to one nine one point nine nine because I have excellent credit. Cool. And then uh, I, I was able to hate to tell you this. That's why I gave you fifty bucks. Is uh, I used your um, uh, vehicle contract, service contract as a, a bargaining chip. Mm-hmm. He was at about twenty three hundred eighty five bucks. I, I showed him your price. He came down to twenty or two thousand thirty four. Look at that. So, so, just so I made me... money there. I paid oh gas insurance. You know, he was six hundred. I could get it four hundred at the credit union. Um, so if all in all, I'm like twenty three hundred without even the interest rate saving because they were like quoting four point seven five on a used car. I got for one nine nine. Look at you! Just one one um, quick thing. People yeah, early sure. on when we started selling the the quote unquote extended warranties, the vehicle service contracts, we got so much crap. You are the perfect example of why we do it. If you didn't have oh. the leverage, you wouldn't have saved thousands of dollars. It's like that's awesome. That's incredible. It, that's a win. I'm telling you, it, it was what we wanted to do. I hated to not use your contract because you had a great you know, rating on uh, the Centennial. Is that what you had? Yeah, your... Centennial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great. But like. Yeah, and, and uh, it was through, you know, Kia had their own dealership one. So if you do it there, there's no deductible. Uh, it's 10 minutes from our house, so it'd be great. But I'm telling you, the two bargaining chips. Don't make me go somewhere else. You want me, you know, I should be your customer. And that, I've been telling you, that was like a gut punch. <laughs> well, and you should be. So, it, and I'm, I'm telling you, I was, I was so excited. I came home and told my wife, I said, you got to watch these guys. She, she hates doing any research and she hates buying cars because she kills the pressure. So I did it. And it is kind of intimidating, you know, because 
they're always trying to close you. Sure. Always be closing. Yep. You know, I I get that. Yeah, come but, on, you're, uh, you sell. Yeah, you know. Yeah, but you know, we're we're more of once you get a guy in the door and you sell him on lumber, he's pretty much a repeat. As long as you perform, yes. it's a different ball game. Yeah. You guys, as soon as they walk out the door, they're may never see you again. Mm-hmm. You know, that's how they look at it. So, no, I'm I'm telling you, Ray, you, uh, I have a buddy that is about your age, and he's an old lumber salesman and lives in Vegas. Okay. He he could be your uncle or brother or cousin. He is so much like you. I just get the biggest kick out of watching you, and, of course, I enjoy you guys' relationship because uh, you guys are wonderful together as uh, father and son. Well, yeah, we try, <laughs> and and oh. you're gonna you're gonna have to tell us your friend's name offline. That's out in Vegas because we're planning on being back there again next winter, and um, so maybe we can get together with him and 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 grab some dinner with him or something. He would probably say, "Who who's this Ray you sent over?" <laughs> and, you know, but, uh, he's he's a, he's a. I wish I could email you a picture of him. You, I think uh, Zach, you think there'd be some family resemblance, but personality <laughs> though is almost spot on. You guys got personality. You know the angle. You you know when to be professional, when to be joking. I mean, <laughs> you're so regular at it. Well, I've been doing it forever. <laughs> Maybe that's I know. why. Yeah. I know, and so and so has he. He's yeah. got so many stories. He he knocked your heads off. You know, the, the the problem becomes is you don't think about it anymore. It just happens. It just becomes natural. Hey, well, oh, it, exactly. But you're you're honest, and I said I appreciate all your advice. I I couldn't have done any. In fact, I would have probably not even done anything because I was still kind of intimidated by the whole thing. But we really wanted to upgrade the vehicle well, so we could travel. Well, bless your heart, you made our night, Lumberbuck. I got one final question for oh, you, Lumberbuck. Sure. And then I'm just fishing, but I think I know the answer. Was it was it worth, you know, did you become a YEA member? You know, I I'm, don't don't laugh. I I was trying to Hey, if trying you to did free, that's fine. Can. No, no, no. But was it worth it? Was I, it worth signing up for the even the free I, account? I was, it, I, I did it on the free account. I and I used it on I think twice on the so I had one more to go, but once we zeroed in on the vehicle that she liked, um, I didn't need to use that on other dealers yet because I was setting myself up for, I'm ready to walk out the door. I stuck to my guns like you guys teach. Um, that, you know, I'm, I'm, this is a fair price. I think you're playing games with these other numbers, you know, big, an inflated, uh, you know, money for my car, which was a joke. Yeah. It came down to bottom line, out the door price. Yes. And, oh, and check this out. I negotiated the, the four ninety nine dock fee and the eight ninety nine cert- certification fee gone. Good job. Because that was well. Yeah, I said you already advertised it. <laughs> yes. You said, right? yes. You've already advertised it as a CPO. So why are you charging me again for it? This is like false advertising. Yes. Hey, well, See? I'm telling you. Looked at me like, are you like a, a hidden camera uh, <laughs> element from another? So they don't. I think they if they ever figure out who Auto Advocate is, they're going to be like going. You guys should have shirts. If you don't, I know you guys wear your own uh, knowledge is power shirts. Yes. But uh, if you guys had the Auto Advocate shirt and people wore them in there, it'd be like intimidation. Yeah, <laughs> it would scare the it would scare the uh, the poopies out of them. We've got a suggestion yes, in the would. chat to start your lumber advocate. So yes. uh, don't have too much fun with that. But oh, <laughs> if, you're, if you ever need advice on lumber, you, you, you've got the, uh, well, I don't know if you got my email from that. I could send it to you. But yeah. if, you're ever, uh, yeah. if you're ever in Omaha, if you're in Omaha, Nebraska, I know it's the middle of the country. Um, you look me up. I owe you guys a steak dinner. Uh, <laughs> you you're a good man. Yeah. You're a good man. Thank yeah. you for calling Thank in. Thank you, and, Lumber and Buck. That, Enjoy the new vehicle. And the donation was, was Oh, we love it. Thanks thoughtful. again for all your help, and God bless you guys. Thank Thanks. you. Good night. Take care. Yeah, that was very cool. Oh, that was awesome. Yeah. That was See really, that? really awesome. Yeah, they're, they're, you know, we, we really do. If I Those two be, guys. Those two if, guys. If I may be so bold, we really do provide um, some real valuable services um and you know we have a lot of members of the community we have probably saved people if you aggregate all the money millions of dollars um and it's just you know it's wonderful when when we have leveled the playing field but and 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 the we is not just you and me no it's the community it's a community like oh man like Yeah. yeah yeah It's really, really beautiful. Okay, speaking of community, yes, 
Memorial Day. Yeah. If you're trying to buy a car, yeah. tonight's stream is how it's right now. It's the worst time in history to buy a car. My dad thinks it might be like two weeks from now. It might be yeah. the worst time. We are going live 10 days in a row. Yeah. 10 days of live streams. Yes. The calendar on this page, I need to update it later today. It's okay. not updated yet, but okay. this will be updated. If you fill out this form, you're going to get an email notification in the morning for each of the live streams. Yeah. Of course, you can just subscribe on YouTube um, mm. and you'll get the notifications yes. as well. Each live stream is going to have a theme. We're going to walk you through step by step leading up to making that purchase. Wait, who came up with the... My uh, dad came up with... Yeah, you did a great job. That was an awesome, yeah, awesome brainstorming you. session. And... Yes. We've got some limited edition. My dad's 70th birthday is on May 25th. We have some limited. He hasn't seen them yet. We have some limited edition birthday YAA gear that we're going to be giving away. Giving away? We're going to be giving Do away. Do I get one? Well. Maybe not. Okay. So <laughs> the 10 days and 10 ways to save. Yes. Please consider signing up so you get notifications for that or whatever. Just join us as we start doing them. It, we've never done 10 days in a row of live streams. It'll be pretty incredible. It, it sure will. And oh, the other other thing to know is yes. that once you whoops, once you've registered here, yes. the one the one reason to fill out the form is there's then a email that you're going to get that has a link to another form where if you're working on a car deal and you want us to analyze it, that's what we're going to be doing for the remainder of those shows is call-ins and analyzing all the deals that come in live on the show. It's going to be a long long 10 days, but yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah. But hey, we can help a lot of people. Yeah, yeah, that's my that's my birthday gift to everybody is trying to help as many people as we possibly can over those ten days. And if folks want to support us, pops, what can they do? Uh, they could uh, go to the website and become a paying member, a premium member, and a, a prime, premium. a prime um, member. Maybe. Oh my God, you can't um, say prime. Uh, maybe we can, <laughs> yeah. get sued. <laughs> anyway, we have members. Believe me, that, that son of a gun has the deep deep enough pockets <laughs> to sue you. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, trade in valuations, the market price reports the email templates everything back here on the website we appreciate everyone's support yes as and i believe we're two out. likes short of 500 let's see yeah that's I can't what see i that. that's what i've been told we're at three, three likes, likes short, short of it's, oh my god let's go people come <laughs> please, on please 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 smash that like button smash it and we're at 500 puffs Oh, look thank at that yeah, thank you everyone does this mean we're done and i can get my pie you get pie I'm going to go home. Yeah. Another live stream in the books. Yeah. Grazie. Thank you. Oh, wow. Welcome. 530 likes. Wow. Look. Wow. wow. Yeah. Yeah. Can we get the 600? <laughs> 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 we got we got 14 minutes worth of battery left. <laughs> but I want my blueberry pie. Thank you, everyone, who yeah. participated tonight. Yes. See you guys all on. We got members only on Thursday night. Maybe yeah. we'll do one during the week. We'll figure it out. Well, no, because... Uh, no, because... No, no, no. Yeah, we got... Because we're going to do 10 in a row. <laughs> yeah. Today's the 15th, so it starts a week from today where we do 10 in a row. Wow, so next Saturday night's the kickoff. Yeah, it's the, the kickoff to the 10 days and 10, 10 ways, ways to, to save. save. My dad came up with the name. Isn't that yeah, great? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. It's, can you tell I, I went to advertising school? Yeah. I never had a job at that. <laughs> but, but I went to advertising school. <laughs> Yeah, I yeah. still can't believe Sean. I think that was his name. Or Max called in. Yeah. What should I do? What's I work it? in the industry. Yeah. <laughs> well, what would you What would you tell a customer on the fence like you were? Okay, and then say it to yourself, my friend. Jeez, <laughs> look at we're at five hundred and sixty. Can we get the six hundred? Oh, we can hang out. Oh my god, viewership is rapidly declining, but yeah. maybe we could get the six hundred. Yeah. There's a chance. Well, I don't know. We can do We can do a quick um a uh, quick promotion of your Instagram, which is. I have truly, Instagram. truly iconic. I have iconic Instagram. Yeah, is I that can, a new type of I can Instagram? Fill up, wow, you hit eight hundred followers on Instagram. Oh Dad. my god! Yeah, my yeah. dad's Instagram is great. You have some of the best. Yeah. Yes. Oh, whoops. This was one of my favorites. Yes. Should I start a fitness YouTube channel? <laughs> <laughs> and then my dear friend um with with yeah. the uh with the fun comment yes oh this was an awesome trip yes. that we went to cincinnati yes you look really cool in that photo yeah i don't look like i was 68 in that photo i don't look like a turn in 70 yeah, soon man. i don't i don't look like a 68 year old uh, you know that's because i'm look you know, at you for, and your for an old, mini for an old bastard i'm a cool dude 
I'm I am I am the Bruce Arians of cars. Look how happy you are right there. Well, you know, happy and fat. fat <laughs> and happy. Yeah, I am the Bruce Arians of cars. I am your cool uncle that you'd like to hang with. Oh yeah, this is great. My yeah. new prescription sunglasses. Only one problem: I can't see blank with them. Everything is blurry, but on the bright side, they kind of look good, don't you think? Yeah. And then yes, this is my favorite Instagram yes. post of all time. Yeah, the caption reads: "My new boat shoes. The only thing missing is the boat. And since I hate boats, and I won't go on." boat i think all is good perhaps they are better described as emergency only boat <laughs> shoes hashtag i hate boats hashtag f boats hashtag boats suck hashtag that's enough about boats you're fantastic man oh, yeah I'm a, I'm a big hashtag then there was this series of <laughs> <laughs> waves in the like in the everyone condo pool. everyone everyone please acknowledge yeah. this we have two separate posts from yeah. the same day of yeah. essentially the same photos one yeah. of the posts yeah is multiple shots of the, of the waves. It was wavy that day. <laughs> We're 20 likes away from 600. Yeah. Can you believe that, how wavy it was? Oh, and there there we are at the Golden Steer in Las Vegas. Yeah, this is from a couple years yeah. ago. Yeah. Yeah. Three yep. years ago, I think. Yep, that was a good yeah. dinner. Yes, it was. Trying to get us to 600, Pops. I'm trying my best here. Oh, and one of my favorite photos. Yep, that yeah. photo. That yeah. photo. When I went to dinner with your Dad, sister. that's the photo, that's the photo, the photo that we that, use for yeah. the channel, for yeah. the YouTube channel. Yes, yes that's, that's the headshot that appears on the YouTube channel. Yep. Um, yeah. You and Dara. Yeah, at the Paul Simon concert. That was the sunset that all of us got to watch tonight yes. on the live stream. We do have beautiful sunsets here. Yeah. And that's the fam at the at the uh, St. Louis at the at the uh, Arizona Cardinals, Arizona Cardinals in, against in the, the San Francisco 49ers at Levi Stadium. Oh, we lost likes. Okay, let's see. Can we get more likes? We're all in it for the likes. Okay, well, I, we're up to five ninety. Ten more folks, and then I can <laughs> and then we can then we can end this. Pie. <laughs> Come on, this is you this, and is, this, this is one of those artificial uh, 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 goals. Oh yeah. yeah, bonsai trees. Yeah. Okay, then this is back at like you at the dealership. Yes, yes. This was yeah. Click on one of those. This was this was one we did. We paid homage to the Oscars, and we had our own red carpet uh, <laughs> at the dealership. Yes, yes, that's pretty fantastic. That's the kind of crazy stuff that I used to. I used to do. Where's the one where I was dressed as the Queen of England? Um, not sure. It's this is there. one of my favorite selfies of all time. Just yeah. the angle. Yeah, because <laughs> I, I didn't even know how to take a selfie. <laughs> yeah. And oh, here we are. Yep, there I there am, you dressed are. as the Queen of England. We're gonna we're gonna call it a night there then. Yeah. Well, we're four like short. Oh goodness. Yeah. All right. Thank you to everyone. Thank, thank you, you pops. All. Enjoy your blueberry pie. Thank I'm gonna walk you. home. Okay. Thank you. Good night, okay. everyone. Good night, all. Where's the button? I don't know. Um, where where is it? You you know how this stuff works. End stream. End stream. End stream. End stream. End stream.